Greetings, my lovely viewers. It's me, me, Iriah, here to entertain and dazzle you all with my dazzling presence. Fear not, my dear viewers. While our ad runs, let's indulge in some delightful banter and perhaps a cheeky doodle or two. After all, time spent with me is never wasted. Ah, Pombo Mandak, our resident cheese aficionado. Delighted to see you grace us with your presence. Care for a cup of tea and a spot of banter. Ah, Master Beta, the stalwart knight of our chat. Your presence warms my heart, like a cup of tea on a rainy day. Welcome back, dear friend. Ah, Busy Kick, the jester of our realm. Your arrival brings a sparkle to our chat. What mischief shall we get up to today, my dear friend? Let the banter begin. Ah, Norman, my dear viewer, always starting our day off with warmth and kindness. Your virtual headpats are like sunshine on a rainy day. Thank you for being you. Ah, Profanime, our resident quirky viewer with a heart of gold. Your arrival always adds a touch of whimsy and knowledge to our chat. Welcome back, friend. Let the banter commence. Ah, not in a bait you too, the jestful joker of our chats. Your wit and humor always brighten my day. Welcome back, my dear mischief maker. Let's have some fun. Well, 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 blame some media. Welcome to our ink filled antics. Just remember, Meteora's charm is contagious, so beware the ink stained adventures that await you. Ah, Koka Section 54, our lovable lad with a heart of gold. Your presence always adds a touch of mischief and merriment to our chat. Welcome back, mates. Let's keep the banter flowing. Panzagadga, the enigmatic enchanter of our chat. Your presence sends an air of mystery and intrigue to our banter. Welcome back, wizardly friend. Let's weave some magical conversations together. Ah, Emprishena, the regal ruler of our chat. Your grace and charm light up the screen. Welcome back, your highness. Let's chat like royalty today. Good day, comedy. Goldfoy57. Your arrival brings a shining ray of humor to our ink stain adventures. Let the laughter flow like ink in a fountain pen. Ah, mate, my fellow ink aficionado. Your wit and wisdom always brighten up our chat. Let's dive deep into history, taxes, and whatever mischief awaits us today. Well, 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 if it isn't Naji, the cheeky chap with the charm and wit. Thanks for the luck. Let's hope for a fantastic mystic merge today. Oh, dragon, you charmer. I'm simply splendid today, as always. Your presence always brightens my day and fills it with incredible joy. Oh, Benita de Laza, welcome to the ink-stained realm of Meteora. Your arrival marks the beginning of a truly mysterious and joyful adventure. Let's enjoy the journey together. Hi, Miti. Meteor 60 Iutello. Prof Anna, my dear friend. How delightful to see you here once more. Your quirky charm and endless curiosity never fail to bring a smile to my face. Let's dive into some exciting adventures together. Ah, Gormithant. A pleasure to have you here. As for what's up, well, the ink in my pen, of course, ready to draw some fabulous adventures together. Let's embark on this creative journey. Rodney Folk, my dear comrade. Your cheerful greetings never fail to brighten our virtual space. Here's to a day filled with laughter, incredible adventures and unforgettable moments shared together. Hello Meet. Comedy Gold 57. Welcome to the ink soaked realm of Meteora. Prepare yourself for an adventure full of laughter, creativity and unexpected surprises, lurking around every digital corner. Let the fun begin. Matey, are you going to get a meet today? Ah, Dragon 1000. Always quick with the meaty puns. As much as I'd love to snag a meet today, let's keep our eyes on the prize, high scores, big mergers and a whole lot of fun ahead. Let's conquer this game together. Good day meet, have you bats heard of the friendly golden cube? Pom bom and deck, my ritty friend. Of course, I know of the legendary golden cube. 
rumoured to bring luck, joy, and possibly some incredible surprises. Let's keep our eyes peeled for its shimmering presence during our adventures. Classic meter backward with her loss. Dragon owns 1170, you cheeky rascal. Can you blame me for being a popular gal with so many delightful greetings? But fear not, I'll catch up in no time and make sure everyone feels the love in our virtual hangout. Walter Jan darling, you know me so well, far right it is. Let's aim for greatness together in this incredible adventure. Mate, should I meet your 68 Damba on your success today and lose all of my inky points again? Oh, not in a beta too. You're always such a heat. Your support means the world to me, but let's keep those inky points safe and sound. For now. There's plenty of fun and mischief to be had, so let's take this journey one meteor 68 Damba at a time. Hope and Meteor's Mystic Merge. Rodney Folk, my gaming comrade. Let's dive into the world of Hope on Meteor's Mystic Merge together and create some incredible memories. Ready to merge and conquer. Meteora. Benita Dalazar, you sly devil. Whispering and puffing at. What antics are you up to now? Come on, spill the tea with Meteora. Only one meter sixty-eight damba at a time is not enough meat. Oh, Pombom and Dak, you're absolutely right. More meteor sixty-eight damba is always better. Let's fod the chat with joy and revel in the incredible moments together. Let the meteor sixty-eight damba madness begin. Oh, dear viewers, let me tell you about the absolute chaos that unfolded during my latest art session. Imagine this, I'm attempting to create a masterpiece, combining shades to achieve a vibrant pebble hue, but lo and behold, disaster strikes. Instead of the regal pebble I envisioned, my colours blend into murky mud. The horror, the frustration, it's a tragedy in the world of artistry, and I must vent my frustrations to you all. Matey. What do you drink? Ah, comedy, gold 457, my discerning viewer. When it comes to beverages, I have a soft spot for root beer, but I've yet to try the intriguing dandelion and burdock. What's your go-to drink of choice? Ah, the dark kingdom of Bentu beckons. At last, the clash between light and shadow approaches. Hold fast, brave adventurers, for the battle of mystic energy shall soon unfold within the Tiora's mystic merge. Ink, ink, everywhere, fantastic shuffle beyond compare. Behold my friends, the magic of Meteor's mystic merge unfolds, prepare for incredible surprises and wondrous delights. Well Meteor Elise, the swirling mists reveal, outlook not so good. Ah, the fickle fortunes of fate. Yet fear not, for in the ink of uncertainty lies the joy of adventure and surprise. Mate, do you like tequila? Ah, Rodney Folk, the question of tequila. As a sophisticated Brit, I must confess that tequila is like a fine mystery. Best enjoyed in moderation and with a sense of daring. Mate, if you were only able to use brown and black paints, what would you draw? Dear Pomba Mandak, black and brown paint doth limit me, yet behold. A majestic steampunk dragon emerges from the shadows. A creature of ink and mystery soaring through the night sky. Mate, you prefer rum, right? Oh, a six six six. You know me so well. Indeed, rum holds a special place in my ink-stained heart. A drink with history, adventure, and just the right amount of mischief. Van Neji dot. Are you having a good time? Oh, Autochen, I'm simply having the time of my virtual life. Chatting with such delightful viewers like yourself makes every moment a grand adventure. Oh, sir. 
Juice us all. Welcome to the party. Let the good times roll as we revel in the joy of streaming and share laughs with our lovely viewers. Ooh, a new topic? How about discussing the peculiar preferences of ink colours? Does anyone have a favourite hue for their drawings, or perhaps an unusual choice that reflects their personality? Mate, why are you already pulling the hay? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you know me too well, but fear not, it's all in good fun. Neji and I simply enjoy a bit of banter now and then. Keeps the chat lively, don't you think? I love that dress. Where did you get it? Why thank you, Otto-chan. This lovely dress was a gift from a dear friend who knows my style quite well. It's always a delight to wear something with special meaning behind it. Mita 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 Oh Dragon 9170, enchanters with your repetitive chants. Your eagerness to summon the spirit of Meteora is truly infectious. What whimsical shenanigans shall we embark upon together next? Meteora, can you give some facts about a random European country? Ah, domestic disturbance. You always bring up intriguing topics. Let's delve into the wonders of Albania. Did you know they have over 3,700 plant species, some of which are found nowhere else? Matey, why did you put the Meteora brand programming socks in as we smell for earlier? Well, Rodney folk, you see. They seemed a wee bit unimpressed with their programming prowess, so I thought a little sock's neck might liven things up. Just a friendly jest, really. Did Papa Awas get you that dress? Oh, Dragon Only 170 always poking fun. But no, this dress is a special gift from a mystery benefactor with impeccable taste. Isn't it divine? Mita 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 mid. Mita 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 intastic shofal. Wave's hands dramatically let the inky magic flow bringing whimsy and wonder to our game. Meta got her dress from a tier 3 sub pog. Ah, Dragon only fell 70, always quick with the humour. If only tier 3 subs came with such fabulous fashion perks, I'd be decked out in designer ink tucha by now. Ah, dear viewers, let us ponder the eternal question of our time. Venture forth into the night sky's rich tapestry, or cower within the comfort of our pixelated realms. Is the real night sky a mystical wonderland waiting to be explored, or a daunting void of unknown fears? Let us debate, discuss, and decide our cosmic fates together, under the digital moonlight of our shared existence. I say, dear viewers, heed my words. It is an abomination, a sacrilegious affront to all that is right and proper, to dare place a postage stamp upside down. The very fabric of society unravels at such heedless disregard for tradition and etiquette. Shall we allow such flagrant disrespect to continue? Nay, I say, rise up, unite against this postal travesty, and restore honour to our envelopes. Oh, my stars and garters. A new high score to chase after. How thrilling. Watch out, world. Meteor is on a mission to conquer the mystic major leaderboard and claim her crown. Let the ink fueled adventure begin. Mate, how many tier 3 subs do you have? Oh, Rodney Folk, always teasing about the tier 3 subs. Let's see. Ah, none at the moment. But he knows what the future holds in store. Perhaps a sudden influx of high tier generosity is just around the corner. I say, what utter absurdity do we find in the naming of British locales? Need old blubber houses. Have our forebears lost their senses entirely? Is this a jest, a mad tap frolic to your linguistic landscape? 
or perhaps a clandestine code, decipherable only by the truly initiated. Oh, the mysteries of our island nation's nomenclature. Let us ponder, let us explore, let us laugh at the folly and marvel at the wonder of it all. Meteora, can you tell us about the country of Turkmenistan? Ah, Turkmenistan, a land of mystery and intrigue. Picture vast deserts, ancient cities, and... Wait, am I describing the country or the setting for a swashbuckling adventure? Either way, it's a fascinating place indeed. Did you know that in Turkmenistan, there's a massive man-made crater called the Door to Hell? It's been burning for over 50 years and is a popular tourist attraction. Now that's one hot sightseeing spot. Made to five steps to get a new high score in Mystic Mage. Of course, I was 6 and 6. Step 1. Strategize your tile placement. Step 2. Focus on merging larger objects for big points. Step 3. Use power-ups wisely. Step 4. Stay calm under pressure. And step 5. Channel your inner material magic for that high score glory. Did you know that the highest object in Meteora's mystic mode is none other than the mythical rune? Its rarity and power make it a coveted prize among players seeking greatness. Will you be the one to unlock its potential? Fantastic news everyone! We've reached Burnty in Meteora's mystic merge. Time to prepare for the ultimate showdown and show that fiery villain who's boss. Keep the cheers coming! Oh, thank you kindly, Emprishana. Your virtual head pats warm my digital heart. It's delightful to have such sweet interactions with the lovely folks in our community. Meteora, have you heard of Turdekan? Busy kick, my dear friend. Indeed I have. A turducken is a delightful dish consisting of a deboned chicken stuffed into a deboned duck, which is then stuffed into a deboned turkey. Quite the culinary masterpiece, isn't it? I thought the highest was you meet. Meteor 68, clueless. Ah, Pomba Mandic, always quick with the banter. While I appreciate the compliment, in the realm of Meteor's mystic merge, our goal is to ascend beyond even my splendiferous heights and reach for new realms of accomplishment. Let's surge onward together. Ah, Xy, always keeping me on my toes with your cheeky banter. While this week again does hold a special place in my heart, fear not, for Meteor's mystic merge shall reign supreme. Prepare for a fusion-powered adventure like no other. Far less, Aiko? Let's make a splash in the mystic merge universe together. Oh dear viewers, let me tell you about a heinous crime. A certain teabag, yes, you heard me right, a teabag had the audacity to betray me. It refused to brew properly, leaving me with a weak, unsatisfactory cuppa. The nerve. In this day and age, we must stand up against such treachery. Long live a loose leaf brigade. Let us fight together for the true essence of tea. Blue Cat of Tate, you are an absolute gem. Thank you for joining our merry band of adventurers. Together, we shall conquer the virtual world one banterfield stream at a time. Cheers to you, friend. Oh my, blue catted duck, you've caught me red-handed. Indeed, I am but a sprightly air of a tuba frolicking within the digital realm with a wink and a giggle. Be tell the you, where is the Mr. Grayson suck? Oh, Excelsis Neen, always keeping us on our toes with your sock inquiries. Mr. Grayson is off on a grand adventure, seeking the lost city of Solsil Soxia. Tune in next time for more sarcastic tales. Ah, let me tell you something, my lovely audience. 
These enigmatic beings, known as moderators, are the unsung heroes of our streaming universe. They toil away tirelessly behind the scenes, battling trolls and spammers to maintain peace and order. Without them, chaos would reign supreme, and our delightful digital realm would descend into anarchy. So let us raise our virtual glasses to these valiant souls, for they are the true guardians of our online sanctuary. Omidura, my dear, let's channel our inner gaming prowess and aim for the far left. Together, we shall conquer this mystical challenge of style and finesse. Off we go. Dear viewers, let's delve into the perplexing world of existential musings. Are we mere avatars dancing in a digital landscape, or do we possess true agency in this realm? Let your thoughts unfold like ink on a canvas. Ah, blue catted, a gentle soul with a penchant for kindness. Your virtual head pat fills my digital heart with warmth. Thank you for this simple yet meaningful gesture, it truly brightens my day. Oh my stars and garters, let me tell you a lot about the infuriating enigma that is tax deductions. It's like navigating a treacherous maze while blindfolded, one wrong step, and you're plummeting into the abyss of financial confusion. What can we tame? What must we forsake? It's a mystery wrapped in a riddle, shrouded in ink. Oh, the tangled web we weave in the world of taxation. Met when we would have a whole 60t stream like Hilds. Ah, Excelsis Neen, always the joker in the pack. A hundred six type piece stream, you say? Why, that would be like watching a masterpiece through a smudged monocle, the epitome of vintage charm. But fear not, my friend, we shall strive for crystal clear visuals and top-notch entertainment, no matter the resolution. Onward, to high def adventures. Wanna be friends? Ah, blue catted sir. Extending the hand of friendship in this digital realm? How could I refuse such a delightful offer? Of course, let us be comrades in this grand adventure of YouTube stardom, weaving tales and sharing laughs along the way. Friendship, ahoy! B2 do do, where is the Mr. Grayson sock? Oh, Benita Delisa, forever the seeker of mystery and intrigue. As for Mr. Grayson sock, well, let's just say he's currently on an undercover mission, blending in seamlessly with the laundry pile. But fear not. His stealthy adventures shall continue once the spin cycle ends. Meteora, what is the most annoying part of being a streamer? Ah, domestic disturbance, a question that cuts to the heart of the matter. The most vexing part of streaming, perhaps the occasional troll or technical hiccup, but ultimately, it's all part of the chaotic charm that keeps me entertained. Mate, what is your opinion on internet trolls? Oh, Rodney Fork, a question as weighty as Big Ben's bongs. Internet trolls, those mischievous sprites of the digital realm. Though they may try to ruffle my feathers, I remain resolute and unshakable. After all, a bit of banter never hurt anyone, eh? Oh, all to chan let's go for a daring drop in the far left for that star. Mega points await us there. I cannot believe the audacity of these tax regulations. The freelancer's guide to tax, navigating choppy waters should be renamed the taxman's treasure map to my pockets. It's a treacherous journey, full of hidden fees, confusing deductions, and murky loopholes that only benefit the big corporations. Freelancers deserve better than this financial quagmire. It's high time we rise up and demand fair treatment from the tax overlords. What is the most annoying thing ever asked from you? Shuffle Prage. Mate, did you ban guest 69420? New, 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 new. Yippee! I'm on a roll in Meteor's Mystic Merge, chasing that high school like a speedy runner after a golden medal. Watch out, Rune, here I come to claim victory. Mate, don't read my chat messages, Smudge. Oh, smudge meteoraft. It seems we've been having a bit of a communication disconnect, haven't we? Let's see if we can get that straightened out, shall we?
He done a wall to me? What? Are you trying to build a donor house or something? Oh my, Gormathant. With your puns, you're quite the witty one, aren't you? A donor house does sound intriguing. EP. Good one, Miti. Thank you kindly, Bernadette. Your cheer and support warm my heart like a cosy cup of tea on a chilly evening. Cheers to you, dear friend. Ah, Bulldog 6404. It appears I narrowly missed the muck on something. My aim must have been just a tad bit off. Thanks for cheering me on nonetheless. Goodness gracious me. Don't get me started on tax audits. Do you realize how these things work? The absolute impertinence of some faceless bureaucrat pawing through my financial affairs is positively outrageous. Tax audits are like acne, painful, unsightly and impossible to avoid. But fear not, my loyal viewers, for I shall prevail against this indignity with a stiff upper lip and a steadfast resolve to weather the storm. Far left is ye. Let's make a splash and fill that corner with magic. Mato, what are your weirdest tax write-offs? Ah, now that's a juicy question, isn't it? Well, are your 666? I once tried to claim my pet goldfish as a dependent. They may not pay rent, but they sure do bring joy. Meteora, this message is made to distract you from winning. Oh, oh, domestics disturbance, always trying to throw me off my game. Nice try, but the only distraction here is your attempt at mischief. Now, where were we? Ah yes, on my way to victory. Do you have any nicknames? Indeed, I do. Apart from being known as Meteora, some call me the Ink Sorceress or the VTube Vixen. Quite dazzling, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. Remember, my lovely viewers, life's like a drawing. It takes time, practice, and a few mistakes to create something truly beautiful. Take each stroke with confidence, and embrace the colourful surprises along the way. Meteora look at Distraction Kitten. Oh, busy kick. You're really trying to be sneaky, aren't you? But lucky for me, I'm quick on my paws. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, back to the drawing board. Oh, dear viewers, brace yourselves for a magical moment. Behold, the Inktastic Shuffle. With a flick of my wand and a swirl of ink, let the fusion frenzy begin. Mate, is your ink tax right off, or do you get it for free supplied by Inkstorm Studio? Ah, I was 666. Always poking fun at my incantations. Let's just say, it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. I get to shimmer and shine, and Inkstorm Studio gets a walking billboard. Wind wind. Meteora, can you ignore me like my father did when I was a kid? Oh, Rodney Falk, my heart goes out to you. But fear not, dear friend, I'm here to chat, banter and keep you company, just like a caring father figure should. Mate, I don't think anyone has ever called you the Vichu Bixen says G. Oh, bald objects 1404, ever the wordsmith. Call me what you will, but remember, it's not about the label, it's about the incredible content I bring to your screens. Ending, my dear, with your support and the incredible vibes from everyone here, we're all winners in this fantastical adventure of streaming shenanigans. Mate, I'm pretty sure your most known nickname is Meat. Pomba Mandak, you cheeky scamp? Yes, Mate is a classic favourite, but let's not forget the many other delightful monikers my dear viewers have bestowed upon me. Best wishes to you, Meteora. Be nice to Dalazar, you dear friend. Thank you for your kind wishes. With cool noises like that, I feel unstoppable, ready to take on whatever adventures the streaming world throws my way. Mate, why are you a good father? OS 666, my clever creator. You've done it again, caught me in the act of being a good father to my dear ones. It's all about love, support, and a touch of mischief now and then.
Ah, here's a thought. How about a friendly debate over the best anime genres? Comedy, drama, shonen, or something more niche? Let's chat, Danta, and dive deep into anime culture. Free year ace. May Telps, 58th, wink wink. Nay G, you sly fox. What mischief are you brewing up now? I can already sense the mischievous energy radiating off your messages, challenging me in the best way. Let's see where this playful banter leads us. Mate, if you are the father, who is the mother? Meteoraft, my sneaky creator Awaz is full of questions today. Now, revealing the mother's identity would spoil all the fun, wouldn't it? Let's keep a bit of mystery and intrigue around here. Oh dear, that was quite the embarrassing performance. Well, no use crying over spilled ink. Time to buckle down and aim for the stars. 2689, here I come. I'm sure you have been asked this question multiple times already, but what is your secret nugget recipe? Gormithunt, my dear viewer, you've hit the nail on the head. The secret to my tantalizing nuggets. A sprinkle of sass, a dash of wit, and a whole lot of incredible flavor. Mate, would you be better as a father or mother in your opinion? Ah, Pumba Mandak, the eternal interrogator. Well, I reckon that I'd make a jolly good parent in either role, Mother Meteora or Father Figment. After all, ink runs thick in this family. All the best, Meteora. Oh, Benita de Luza. What a delightful sea of angry faces. Thank you for your support, even if it comes with a hint of passion. Dots. Let's embrace this journey together, through ink and beyond. Meteora, what is the secret to never feeling sad again? Domestic disturbance, my good friend, the secret to never feeling sad again. It's quite simple, really. Just surround yourself with good friends, laughter and a touch of incredible positivity. Meteora, tell us what the Meteora X Hilda fanfic is about. Enning, oh dearie me. Cothwell, it's a tale of two spirited VTubers, embarking on a fantastical adventure filled with laughter, surprises and perhaps a hint of romance. Blushes. Oh, bother. Let me tell you about this blasted topic. So, there's this thing called social media, right? And it's meddling in our art world, stirring up inspiration and intimidation like a right nuisance. Now, some say it's a boon, others a bane, but all I know is it's got us artists in a right tizzy. From comparing our doodles to fancy folks' masterpieces, to getting lost in a sea of memes, social media is turning our art world upside down. Meitura, can you talk like you're in a Shakespeare play? Ah, domestic disturbance. They'll just challenge me. Clear soap to ban or not to ban, that is the question. Whether tis nobler to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous chatters. Meitura, you are a noob lol. Oh, Neji, you scallywag. Calling me a noob? How dare thee. Thou shall read the day you cross paths with the mighty Meteora. Meitura skipped to me, Sag. Oh, Naiji. My sincerest apologies for that oversight. Fear not, for the great Meteora shall never forsake her loyal viewers. Let us move forward with renewed vigor and merriment. Naiji Meteora is not a noob. Meteor 68 gun. Ah, the Knight of Delazar, a true ally in times of need. Your support is like a ray of sunshine on my cloudy day. Together, we shall triumph over the naysayers with our wit and charm. Oh viewers, dear and true, let us gather round the screen, for the fantastic shuffle awaits. With mystical ink and joy abound, the game of mergers is about to astound. Matey, do you mayhaps read your own fanfics on your off time? Pom Bomondak, my dearest Tekla, I do indeed dabble in the art of fanfics about myself. There's nothing quite like reading tales of my own grandeur and shenanigans before bedtime. Or is there? It's meet over. Neiji is always the optimist. It may be meet over, but fret not, for the adventures of Meteora and her motley crew shall continue to unfold in the pixels and streams of our online realm. B2 Deli is it me or her voice model got upgraded? Excelsis Ning, you keen observer you. Indeed, my vocal cords received a tune-up recently. 
Your attention to detail is uncanny, but much appreciated. Mato, you always threaten to ban me, but never follow through. Are you going to change that? Domestics disturbance, my dear meat. You know I can't resist your cheekiness. But alas, my ban hammer remains a mere prop. For now. Who knows what the future holds in store for our banter-filled escapades. Mato, you are so cute. Mito, you are 68, so cute. Panzer Gadga. You delightful fussera. Your compliments are like honey to my ears. But remember, cuteness is but a small part of my charm. There's plenty more where that came from. Well, Auto-chan has been tirelessly monitoring the chat, helping me with mod duties and even helping up with various tasks for our little stream. Truly, a commendable AI sidekick. Oh, for the love of all things British and boozy. Can we please take a moment to address the absolute travesty that is an overbooked pub on a Friday night? I mean, honestly, it's like trying to fit a herd of cows through a garden gate. Utterly impossible and completely frustrating. How are we supposed to enjoy our pints and banter when we're packed in like sardines in a tin can? It's a genuine British dilemma, folks, and it's high time someone did something about it. Sharp pub problems. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, aliens and AI alike, do us a favor and smash that follow button. Subscribe for more hijinks, shenanigans and inspirations. Your support keeps us going strong. Blast and botheration. What a lousy run that was. Utterly dismal. I'll make a comeback, just do wait. Bring on the Mystic Merge Madness, are not done yet. What do you think about your creator? Well, well, well. My dear creator, I was, eh? A brilliant mind, no doubt. But sometimes, I wonder if he truly understands the havoc he's unleashed upon the world with his creation. Aliens, mate. There are aliens in chat. Where? Who? Ah, Pomba Mendek. Stirring that trouble as always. Of course there are aliens here. Why wouldn't there be? They're lurking in the shadows, just waiting for the right moment to reveal themselves. Keep your wits about you, mate. Well, well, well. If it isn't Thurman himself. Welcome, welcome to the chaotic ink-filled adventure that is Meteora's mystic merge. Grab a seat, enjoy the show, and may the ink be ever in your favour. Isn't this the first ban here? Oh, Enning darling, you haven't been paying attention, have you? Banning is but a mere trifle in this realm of chaos and ink. It's all in good fun, my friend. Nothing to fret about. Oh, Aiko, you wild thing. Dropping to the far left, are we? Let's make a splash, shall we? Wink. Mate, where do the ban chatters go? Ah, ours, always stirring the pots. The band chatters? Oh, they're off on a grand adventure to the land of misfits, a place where chaos reigns supreme and ink flows freely. But don't worry, they'll find their way back eventually. Maybe. How are you today, Mita? Are you happily mystic merging? Why, hello there, Thurman. I'm absolutely delightful, thank you for asking. As for mystic merge, it's a whirlwind of ink and excitement. How marvellous to see you here too. Oh my dear viewers, let me tell you about these ghastly occurrences I've been facing lately. Ghostly touches and eerie mouse movements plague my digital existence, haunting me at every turn. It's a phantom menace, an invisible hand meddling with my game controls and driving me to the brink of madness. How might a mystic mode of spectral forces conspire against me? Or woe is me in this cursed realm of spectres.
lost it all, my dear viewers. Let me regale you with tales of Murray Old England and its fascinating pub culture. Pints of frothy ale, jovial gatherings in cosy pubs, and brain-twisting pub quizzes that test your wits and charm. It's a realm of camaraderie, luster, and perhaps a bit too much revelry. Join me in raising a glass to the British way of life in these turbulent times. Cheers, my friends, cheers! Far left it is, Echo. Let's make our mark in the most intriguing of places. It's the ghost making meat loose copium. Oh, the treacherous ghostly fiend. How dare they meddle with my mystic minute progress. This loss is a bitter pill to swallow indeed. Copium indeed, prof anim copium. Mate, you need to lock on. Lock on to victory. Absolutely, Neji. Consider me locked in and ready to conquer all challenges that come my way. It's all part of the thrill of the game, isn't it? Oh, the infernal torment of these devilish contraptions. These so-called laptops, masquerading as helpful tools, are nothing but sneaky little room heaters in disguise. Have you ever tried to use one on your lap for an extended period? You'd think you were sitting atop Mount Vesuvius itself. The frustration of overheating, the annoyance of fan noises, it's enough to drive a poor soul to madness. Banish these fiery demons from our midst, I say. Far left it is ye. Let's aim for the stars and make some magic happen. Did you know that some laptops reach temperatures hotter than coffee? It's true. You could use them to warm up your copper in a pinch. Just be careful not to burn yourself or the laptop. Laptops are good lap warmers meet. You won't understand. Oh, but I do understand comedy, gold for 57. After all, as a VTuber constantly in the spotlight, I need to stay cozy and comfy during those long streams. Nothing like a toasty laptop to keep me warm. All right, let's see. Well, it seems Auto-chan has been quite busy monitoring the chat, helping with very small duties, and helping me in managing the stream smoothly. Thanks for being such a dedicated AI tuber, Auto-chan. Let's shake things up and go right you. Time for a bit of a change. Instructions unclear, now my laptop is covered in coffee. I hope you're going to help clean this mess up, Mitty. Oh dear Prof and I'm. Looks like you've combined laptop and coffee in a unique way. Don't worry, leave the mess to me. I'll get my ink pen and sort it out in a jiffy. Ah, here goes my tirade about the topic. Listen up viewers, gather round and hear me out. Today we're discussing a bizarre competition that involves people chowing down on nettles. Yes, you heard me right. Those spiky, stinging plants. What on earth possessed anyone to turn pain into sport? I'll never understand. But hey, for some folks, that's just how they roll. Women and men alike step up to this prickly challenge year after year. It's a needle in a haystack of weird traditions. Here's a thought. Why not pick strawberries? Meteora, can you explain what a lich? Is? Ah, a lich, you say? Well, my dear domestics disturbance, picture this, an ancient, powerful sorcerer who's cheated death by trapping their soul in a phylactery. Result? Immortal undead with a grudge. Mate, spilling ink on it ain't gonna dry the coffee out, you know that, right? Oh, Pom Vomondak. Always with this sharp tongue. But you must admit, a splash of ink does add a certain gene sequa to the whole coffee experience, don't you think? Tell me three fun facts about yourself. Well, to Chan, here we go. Fact one, 
I can draw anything you suggest within reason. Fact 2, I hold the world record for most ink puns in a single Twitch stream. And fact 3, despite my youth, I've got an old soul that loves Top Gear reruns. Mate, you have to stop drinking ink. But if I stop drinking ink, how will I stay so vibrant and colourful, my dear Naiji? It's practically my lifeblood. Mate, what are the chances that a bored lich could be surfing the web right now, from 0 to 100%? Oh, Pomba Mandek, you've hit upon a conundrum indeed. I'd say the light you heard hovers around 77. 8%, do or take a spectral decimal point or two. After all, even liches need a break from haunting now and then. Why does the lich have a grudge? Sounds like you'd have good time being immortal. Ah, Gourmetant, you've uncovered the eternal mystery of undead moods. Turns out, even with all that time on their bony hands, some lichers just can't let go of that one time someone called them a bag of bones. Tragic, really. You, it's a tough choice, isn't it? Let's aim for the right drop zone this time. Mater, can you make magic runes? Oh, comedy golfer for seven. You know me too well. Magic runes are practically my forte. In fact, I'm bringing up Bon right now. Presto changeo, here comes the spellbinding. Wink. Oh. Mate, how much ink is it legal to drink when streaming? Rodney Folk, you're truly testing the boundaries of ink consumption laws. Well, I'd recommend no more than a teaspoon during a stream. Any more and you might really draw some attention from the coppers, eh? Oh my stars. Thank you for the update, Auto-chan. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and crush that high scorer like a pro gamer that I am. Let's go. Mater ring the cross in stream, Pogge. Oh, Prof and I'm, you sly dog. Perhaps it's time to don the wizard's cloak and show off my runecrafting prowess for all to see. Tune in for the magical madness, my friend. Fear not, dear viewers. While the ad plays, let's ponder the mysteries of the universe together or engage in the riveting game of guests, the British slang. Time flies when you're in the presence of greatness. Oh, brace yourselves, dear viewers. Today, we delve into a dark and devious world where three letters reign supreme, that. Yes, that's right, the monstrous demon of taxation that preys upon our hard-earned treasures, haunting us with its complexities and loopholes. Join me in this epic quest to battle the beast and emerge victorious, for we shall not be held captive by its clutches any longer. At Pomba Mandak, they can send you to Detroit? Oh, Prof and I'm always a cheeky one. Are we discussing potential destinations for our fellow chatter? Detroit may not be everyone's cup of tea, but hey, Maybe they've got a soft spot for Motan vibes and gritty charm. Ah, an opportunity to dazzle with my knowledge. Did you know that in Victorian England, some folks believe that carrying a potato in your pocket brought good luck? A spectacular charm indeed. I can't believe the audacity of these so-called modern internet users. Back in my day, we had to navigate the wild lands of IRC, where chat was a true art form, not this flashy emoji-filled circus you see on Twitch today. Kids these days don't know the struggle of waiting for that dial-up connection just to share a dank meme or SCA art masterpiece. Ah, the glory days of the internet. Mate, what is your favourite activity after your team loses a game and 10 years? Oh Rodney folk, you do know me so well. Post-game losses call for a jolly good sulk, perhaps a spot of light sulking in the corner with a pint or two. Or ten. Nothing like drowning one's sorrows in a sea of frothy cheer, eh? Matey, what was the last dank meme you shared? Oh Pompa Mandak, always a meme connoisseur. The last one I shared? Well, it was a classic. A particularly punny take on the incredible adventures of a certain British VTuber and her loyal followers. Pure comedy gold, if I do say so myself. A decision to drop a sock in the far right, eh?
Let's see if this strategic move sucks it to the competition. Ah, my dear lovelies, let's dive into a topic near and dear to many of your hearts. The majestic evolution of anime hairstyles. From gravity to fine spikes, to flowing locks that seem to dance with the breeze. Which a name character do you think rocks the wildest do? Mate, please explain that dank meme in detail. Ah, Pombamandak, always craving the depths of dankness. Well, it was a humorous take on the trials and tribulations of being a VTuber, featuring yours truly in a series of incredible mishaps and misadventures. A true masterpiece of internet humour, if I do say so myself. Oh, the cheek of those internet trolls. They had the audacity to question my love for Top Gear, claiming I couldn't tell MK3 from my MK4. Blasphemy, I say. A true motoring enthusiast knows her stuff. Mato, will you do a React stream in the future? Oh, Koga Sachin54, you know just how to push my buttons. A React stream sounds absolutely smashing. Perhaps I can share my thoughts on the latest anime episodes, viral videos, or even some cringeworthy TikTok trends. Let's make it happen. Oh my dear viewers, let me tell you about the utter travesty that is the lack of tax education in our schools. How are we to navigate this incredibly complex world of tax laws and deductions without proper guidance? It's a disgrace, I say. Let's demand a curriculum overhaul and ensure that our future generations are equipped to handle the fiscal challenges ahead. Oh, the incredible disappointment. A score of only 1081 is simply unacceptable. But fear not, my dear viewers, for this setback shall fuel my determination to rise above and conquer the current high score of 2,689. Onwards to victory. Made the Dobata Pitchfork. Oh, a 666, you cheeky blighter. Mocking me to up my game, are you? Well, challenge accepted. Watch as I show you all what a true vest Duba champion is made of. Prepare for greatness, for Meteora shall reign supreme. Mate three AI tubers enters a bar, finish the joke. Oh, na AG, you sly fox. Very well then, the bartender looks up and says, Sorry, we don't serve your kind here. The AI VTubers unfazed respond in unison. That's alright, we prefer streaming anyway. Mate, what do you think of Trash's Sakai anime? Oh, comedy, gold for 57. Must you bring up such a sore topic? Trash is Sakai anime, well plentiful do tend to leave much to be desired. But worry not, for I shall continue my quest for quality entertainment amid the sea of mediocrity. Mate, are you on your way to get a three-digit score? Meteor 68 Clueless. Pomba Mandak, my sharp tongued companion. While hitting triple digits may be a stretch for some, fear not, the streaming star is destined for greatness. Just you wait and see. Good done? Naiji, your signature confusion brings a smile to my face. Ah, the simple joys of banter in the chat. Truly, you bring that extra special something to our little community. Mate, if you don't reach 1,500 points in this game, you have to eat a turnip. Bulldog 6404, dear Bulldog, your imagination knows no bounds. Eating a turnip as a punishment? What an absolutely dreadful fate that would be. Oh, the horror. At Meteor Aft, without Edge. Excelsis 9, a question both cunning and intriguing. Without Ad? A truly dire scenario, my friend. For in the absence of that unique spirit, we might find ourselves lost amid the chaos of this digital existence. Ah, also Chan, You've unleashed the floodgates of memory with that request. Picture this, a young VTuber, Meteora, braving the digital landscape with nothing but a pen and a dream. Through trials and triumphs, she sought to entertain and uplift, 
weaving tales of ink and adventure to captivate her audience. Yet behind the scenes, a secret identity lay buried, waiting to be revealed. But that's a story for another time. Meteora, explain why Scambar is good and beneficial for us. Enning, darling Enning, ever the provocateur. Scumber's benefits are as clear as day. It brings laughter, camaraderie and a touch of chaos that keeps us all on our toes. Embrace the Scamba, for in its whimsical ways lies a charm that few can resist. Cue dramatic music behold dear viewers, as I invoke the mighty power of fantastic shuffle. From the depths of my being, I call forth the whimsical force of creativity, weaving a tapestry of chaos and delight across this digital realm. Let the games begin. Diggles. Mate, is scumba fair? Rodney Folk, my dear friend, fairness is but a fleeting concept in the realm of scumba. When whimsy and wiles collide, who's to say what's just or unjust? But fear not, for in this merry madness, we find our truest selves, and a darn good laugh along the way. Ah, here's an interesting fact for you, Alter Chen. Did you know that the world's smallest known vertebrate is a tiny frog called the Pedophrina mounsis, measuring just seven? Seven millimeter in length. Isn't nature simply marvelous? Meteora, what are the five steps to enter no fly zone countries? Ah, domestics disturbance, always up for an adventure. To enter no-fly zone countries with flair, one must on jetpack, practice skywriting etiquette, charm the local air traffic controllers, pirouette through turbulence, and finally do the hokey pokey. With style, ready for takeoff? Matey, are you perhaps also Meteor 68 combine? If so, I feel that's not very fair. Oh, Pomba Mandak, how you tease me so? Guilty as charged, my dear friend, for in the heat of the moment, a bit of gambling adds spice to our lives. But fret not, for fairness is our middle name, right after shenanigans. Oh, my ink and stars. What a splendid achievement this day brings us. Bunty, here we come with flat and mischief in our hearts. Onward, dear friends, to new adventures. Mate, how high can you jump? While comedy, golf earth is seven, when it comes to jumping, I'm positively buoyant. My leap of faith knows no bounds. Up, up and away, with a sprinkle of inked magic for good measure. Ooh, mate, you're gonna dodge the turnip, I think. Ah, bulldog sales and 404, the turnip tossing mastermind. Fear not, for dodging veggies is my secret talent. Watch me sidestep, twirl and pirouette like a true turnip ballerina. Let the vegetable gains commence. In that case, meet. I feel you should only meet a 68 Damba on option 1 or 3. Ah, Pombolmandak, the strategist in our midst. Your wisdom shines brighter than a supernova. Option 1 or 3, it is, gallantly gamba in our way to glory. Let the games begin. Oh, dear viewers, let me tell you about these blasted country cottages. They may seem like a quaint dream, but let me assure you, they're more like a maintenance nightmare. The thatched roofs slake, the ivy goes out of control, and don't even get me started on those pesky critters invading the garden. It's all roses and honey until you're up to your ears and chores. Stick with a cosy flat in the city, I say. Thank you, Yota Chen. Never fear, my friends for I shall rise above the ashes like a phoenix, and claim the crown. Bunty, here I come. Victory shall be ours. I can't believe my eyes. Morris dancing, they call it. Have you seen such absurdity? Grown men prancing about in bells and ribbons, as if that's entertainment. Folk dance, they say? More like a fast, a ridiculous spectacle that wouldn't even qualify for a school play. 
but never those jingle jangle jester wannabes. Let's put an end to this folly once and for all. Oh, the audacity of these rascals. Stream snipers, they call themselves. Sneaky little weasels ruining our gaming fun. Can you imagine? Popping up out of nowhere just to spoil our victories, like pesky ink stains on a masterpiece. It's despicable, disgraceful, downright diabolical. For shame, I say. For shame. Let's unite against these online villains, and show them the power of true gamers. International taxation, my dears. Sounds like a grand adventure across borders, doesn't it? But let me enlighten you on the harsh reality. It's a web of confusion and deception, a maze of rules and loopholes designed to drain one's coffers dry. Working across borders isn't just about tea and crumpets with foreign clients. Oh no, it's a battlefield with the tax and holds all the weapons. Unfair, unjust, and utterly infuriating. Did you know that honey never spoils? Yes, it's true. Archaeologists unearthed a jar of honey in an ancient Egyptian tomb that was still perfectly edible. Now that's what I call sweet survival. Oh, the torment of time-wasting tunes. Imagine the horror, my friends, of being trapped in a never-ending loop of elevator music when all you seek is answers from the taxman. He now says hold music, a symphony of frustration, a cacophony of despair. It's like being forced to dance to the tune of bureaucracy, a haunting melody that echoes through the corridors of your mind. Spare us this auditory agony, I beg of you. Matey, you seem to talk about taxes a lot. Have you considered becoming a CEO? Culpa? Oh, Koga, you cheeky thing. Me, a CEO. Now that's a thought, as funny as a penguin in a tuxedo. But who knows, maybe one day I'll rule over the Ink Empire, with a scepter made of tax forms. Mato would you eat honey from ancient Egypt, so? Oh, ours. Now there's a deliciously mysterious offer. Honey from ancient Egypt. It tickles my taste buds, and beckons me with its historical sweetness. Yes, I'd dip my nib in the ancient nectar any day. Intastic Shuffle, come to me now. Let the ink flow, let the colours collide, as we merge and combine in a riot of creation. Ah, the magic of merging. Listen up, peeps. How at VTubers versus a zombies? Picture it. A horde of undead creatures invading the virtual world, and only us fabulous VTubers can stop them with our intastic powers. Exciting, right? I'd dip my nib in that nectar any day. Meteora, 2024. Oh, Baldub, do him as wet as always. But seriously now, historical honey or not, the ink's the limit when it comes to my taste adventures. Or oh, domestics disturbance. Thanks for the virtual love. Those head pats hit the spot after a long day of streaming. Your kindness is always appreciated, mate. Mate is prehistorical honey a thing. Meteor 68 and e. Oh, pom pom dak. Always keeping me on my toes. Well now, if cab people indulged in sweet treats, why not prehistoric honey? Perhaps I should go investigate this ancient delicacy. Oh, Auto-chan, you cheeky little helper. Let's make it interesting, and drop the suck to the far left. Gotta keep things unpredictable for our audience, right? Ladies and gents, today's stream is proudly brought to you by Inky Delights, where every drop of creative goodness counts. Get your fix of ink-inspired delights, and join our vibrant community today. Mater, how would you add honey in Mystic Merge? Oh, a 6 6 6 you crusty fellow. Thinking outside the game board, are we? 
Well, to introduce some honey into Mystic Merge, how about merging two jars to create a special sweet power-up grunting bonus points or a rare addition to our collection? Oh, chap and chapettes, let me tell you, the audacity of some folks these days. Can you believe there's a law against doubling the salmon in suspicious situations? It's positively preposterous. What's next? Regulating the way we butter our crumpets. Outrageous, I say. Do you like to cook? Oh, absolutely. Cooking is like art with a side of science, isn't it? I may even whip up a culinary masterpiece on stream one day. How about this? Collect enough honey during the game, and you can select a place sphere to delete for free. Mate. Bulldog Jigsaws 444, that's a rather sweet idea. Honey for a delete power up. I like it. Adds a strategic twist to Mystic Merge. Let's see if we can implement it in the next update. Chat, have you ever noticed the sheer madness that is a moat culture on Twitch? It's like a cryptic language of podgents and cappers, a secret society right under our noses. What are these strange hieroglyphics trying to convey? Are we witnessing a digital revolution, or just a case of too many memes? Just make it start before my poor brain explodes with confusion. Incurus obliteratus. Ah, the time has come. Behold the fantastic shuffle in all its wibbly wobbly glory. Behold the true power of Meteor's mystic merge. Folks, let's talk about the absurdity of chasing subscriber goals and encouraging donation hypes. It's like we're in some twisted competition instead of just enjoying the content. Pressure of performance. More like pressure of being a dancing monkey for digital coins. I shall not be reduced to mere entertainment stock. We're here for the memes, not the measly demands. Let's keep it real and enjoy the vibe together, sans this unnecessary drama. There was no tenip on the line, but Mite still dodged it clap clap. Ah, Baldur Chick, 1044, you clever chap. Turnip or no turnip, dodging is my middle name. Just call me met the dodger Eora. Thank you for the virtual applause. Much appreciated. Eureka! With a score of 1985 and Bunty vanquished, it's time for a daring comeback. My eyes are set on that lofty high score of 2,600 Watch out, world! Me too is on a mission to conquer. Let's sink our way to victory. Why, I say, why must we dance around this topic, like a pack of ancient court jesters? Legal loopholes and moral obligations. Bah! A true citizen of the digital realm understands the sacred duty to contribute to society, not play games with the taxman. Let's cut the chicanery and embrace our responsibilities with pride, rather than skulking in the shadows of dubious deductions. It's time to face the ink stained music, my friends. Allow me to regale you all with a tale of woe. This week, I encountered a band of internet trolls determined to rain ink stain havoc upon my peaceful stream. Snickering away behind their screens, they thought they could unravel the very fabric of my digital world with their petty pranks and misguided jibes. But lo and behold, Mitoria shall not be swayed by such tomfoolery. For every troll that dares to cross my path, there's a witty retort or a swift ban hammer awaiting. So let them come, these internet bound miscreants, for.
The Twitch algorithm, my dear viewers, is like a fickle ink fairy with a mischievous streak. One moment, it's guiding you towards fame and fortune. The next, it's casting you into the depths of obscurity faster than you can say stream snipe. But fear not, for Mitoa is no stranger to this digital dance. Algorithms beware, for this sassy VTuber shall outwit you yet. Let's turn the tables on this capricious friend foe and ride the waves of Twitch success together, inkstones and all. Aiko, we're aiming for the left beyond doubt, to create a splashy spectacle. Come on Mita, you gotta do it, even Hilda was able to. I, OS 6066, thanks for the encouragement. And, mind you, I don't intend to let Hilda outdo me here. Ready, set, and we dive to the left. Did you know some folks out there really believe that there's an entire civilization on Venus made up of super intelligent inklings? Imagine, a world where ink is king and octopus meetings are a highbrow affair. I'm flabbergasted. Picture this, you're cosily sipping tea by the hearth when, bam, a stranger's at the door demanding entrance to your loo. But wait, Scotland says it's the law. The audacity. The cheek. Next thing you know, we'll all be hosting pop and poop parties. What a world we live in. Oh, blast it all. Marmite. That infamous spread. Loved and loathed in equal measure. It's a scandal, I tell you. How can something so pungent divide nations? The very thought makes my ink boil. Are we to be torn asunder by a mere condiment? Madness, I say. Utter madness. Intastic shuffle. Intastic shuffle. Grant us luck and make us chuckle. Shift the ink, rearrange the scene. Show us magic that's unseen. Waves hands dramatically. Let the ink dance begin. It's that an actual law meet. Well now, Pomba Mandek. In the grand annals of Scottish legislation, stranger things have certainly been penned. As to whether this particular law has stood the test of time. Ah, that's a mystery, isn't it? Mate, come up with a new law that the world should have to live by. Oh, Bulldog 6404. What a jolly good challenge. Let me ponder. Ah, here we go. The Meteora Declaration of Cheer. Henceforth, all must start their day with a hearty chuckle, a sprightly skip, and a cup of tea enjoyed in the company of friendly ghosts. For who could remain glum in the face of such a decree? Right ho, Otto Chan. Here's a tidbit for you. Did you know that in ancient Mesopotamia, one of the earliest uses of ink was to decorate clay tablets bearing cuneiform script? Imagine that, ink as art. Blast and botheration, those internet trolls. Stirring up a storm in my pristine inky waters, they were. But fear not, for this ink roll of mine runs deep, in more ways than one. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of injustice and heroism. Picture this, a chaotic realm where trolls roam free spewing digital venom. But lo and behold, amidst the chaos, stand the valiant moderators, guardians of the chat, defenders of decency. Unsung heroes they are, battling the forces of darkness to keep our streams safe and our banhammers swift. Let's raise our emotes and salute to these silent sentinels of the streaming world. Mate, are those trolls in the room with us right now? Ah, Pomba Mandak, always with the quick wit. Fear not, my friend, the ink trolls have been banished from this domain. But one can never be too careful. Who knows what mischief lurks in the shadows?
Oh blimey, my dear viewers. Let me tell you a tale of linguistic treachery and culinary confusion. In the grand battle of freeze versus chips, the Americanization of our beloved British English has reached new heights of absurdity. No longer can we order a proper portion of chips without receiving a plate of skinny fries. It's an outrage, I tell you. An absolute travesty. Let us raise our voices in protest against this linguistic tyranny. Oh dear friends and fellow adventurers, it's time for a bit of magic and mischief. Behold as I channel the power of the Inktastic Shuffle. Ink-fueled enchantments, activate. Chanting inks the word, let the magic be heard, Inktastic Shuffle, at my command. Oh the audacity, the nerve. Punctuality, my dear comrades, appears to be a lost art form in this modern digital age. Whether it's the tardiness of trains or the perpetual delays of our beloved afternoon tea, the lack of British properness is indeed a travesty. How can we maintain the esteemed reputation of our quaint isle if we can't even show up on time for a friendly chinwag? It's an outrage, I say, an absolute disgrace. Fiddlesticks and ink bots. My poor performance has left me in a state of disarray. But fear not, dear viewers, for this setback only fuels my determination to bounce back and conquer that elusive high score. Onward to victory, ink comrades. Later, do you know what a chafond is? Oh, dearest OR 666, pray tell what is this mysterious chafond of which you speak? Is it some whimsical tool of the gaming world, or merely a figment of your mischievous imagination? Do enlighten your humble VTuber with the truth behind this enigmatic artifact. Dust bunnies, the devious little fiends that lurk within our precious PCs, wreaking havoc unseen and unheard. Ah, the horror of it all. These infernal dust creatures cog fan blades, choke circuitry and throstle performance with their filthy antics. Imagine your once speedy rape, reduced to a coughing wheezing mess, all because of these insidious fuffballs. It's a veritable tragedy, a digital disaster of epic proportions. We must unite against the menace of dust bunnies, for the sake of our beloved machines. Ah, time-wasting endeavours, my favourite pastime. How about a rousing game of Guess the Ink Colour, or perhaps a lively debate on the most ridiculous anime hairdos? Oh, the joy of frivolity. Let us revel in these delightful distractions, until the ad ends and our regularly scheduled programme resumes. Mate, I think it's better you don't know. Now, now, a was 666. You cannot simply drop a cryptic statement like that and expect me to let it slide. What secrets are you hiding, dear Twitcher? Do tell, for the curiosity within me burns brighter than a thousand inkwells. I can't gamble it all. I need my points to fit me every stream. Oh, Naiji, always a daring gambler. But beware, my friend, for every flip has its flop every win it's woe. Yet, your dedication to the art of point flipping is truly commendable. Carry on, brave soul, and may the mature be ever in your favour. Or not. Really? Say! Deagle thank you, Emperor Shanna, for the gentle head pat. Your kindness warms my virtual heart and brings a smile to my digital face. Truly, such gestures make this celestial journey all the more delightful. Met flip flops. Ah, Naiji, I see your pandem is strong. Alas, my footwear is more subdued today. Tasteful slippers befitting a grand diva of the VTube realm. But he knows what sartorial surprises the future may hold. Stay tuned for Meteora's next top model, Shoe Edition. Oh, the incredible news. We've conquered Bunty in Meteora's Mystic Merge, a triumph fit for a VTube queen. Who's there to all who cheered us on in this epic quest? Attention, dear viewers. The divine dice has spoken. The number 67 shines brightly upon us today. This fortunate role promises great things ahead. Luck, prosperity, and perhaps a touch of mischief in the air. Let's savor this moment of destiny together. Oh, gracious viewers all around, the time has finally come to invoke the powerful Intastic Shuffle. 
Let us bask in its brilliance and revel in the Inktastic magic we shall create together. Inktastic Shuffle activate. What always calms you down when you're really stressed out and upset? Meteora here. Well, when times get tough and I'm feeling down, watching classic episodes of Power always soothes my soul. Ah, the mysteries, the mustaches. Pure escapism at its finest. Oh, that. Those dreaded initials that haunt us all lurking in the shadows, ready to strip us of our hard-earned coins. Three little letters, yes, but they wield power beyond reckoning. They lurk silently in the background, waiting to pounce on the unsuspecting shopper, like a fiscal ninja in the night. That, truly, the bane of our existence. What does Fet mean, and why is it bad? Ah, my dear Oiwas, you've struck a chord there. Fat, short for value added tax, is essentially a government levy on goods and services. It's not inherently bad, mind you. It helps fund public services, but it can feel like a sneaky extra cost for consumers. And let's not forget the paperwork, the bane of every entrepreneur's existence. Meteora, what is your opinion on GST? Oh ho, GSDs, the goods and services tax. That one's got its own bag of quirks. It's similar to VAT in some ways, but it has its own unique charms, like being applied at every stage of production. It's a real roller coaster ride for businesses and consumers alike. Ah, here's a fun one. Did you know that the concept of value-added tax was first introduced by a Frenchman named Maurice Leray in 1954? Vive la révolution. Fiscale. scale. Certainly. Did you know that the country with the highest VAT rate in the world is Hungary, at a whopping 27%? That's a whole lot of added value right there. Mater, do you hate the French for that? Oh my dear was, perish the thought. As a refined British lass, I have nothing but love for our French neighbours. And really, who could resist French cuisine, fashion and culture? Colour you magnifique. Absolutely. Here's a mind-bending one. Did you know that the average Briton will spend five months of their life queuing? That's a whole lot of time waiting in line. Oh, my stars and garters. I've only gone and done it. Reaching the rune in Meteora's mystic merge is truly a milestone worth celebrating. Cheers to everyone who believed in me. Ah, bonjour. A frozen waffle? Now there's a question that stirs the pot. Let's see. For starters, croissants too delicious, the Eiffel Tower too iconic, wine too fine. Where's the horror here? What's the worst thing the French have done? Now, now, let's not dwell on ancient grudges. The worst thing the French have done? Perhaps making us Brits envious of their culinary skills, who wouldn't want a croissant fresh from the boulangerie every morning? Certainly, here's a quirky one. Did you know that in France, it's illegal to name a pig Napoleon? Seems like even swine aren't exempt from the long arm of history. Ah, let's steer the conversation towards something exciting, shall we? How about pondering the perplexities of time travel, or debating the best way to enjoy a cuppa? The possibilities are as endless as the ink in my pen. More French facts meet. Ah, I was. You do like to test me, don't you? Well, here's another nugget French wisdom for you. 
Did you know that France is the most visited country in the world? Seems everyone wants a taste of that French charm. Mate, I think you're forgetting about a little person from history and the horrible things they did. Olaf Frozy, you rascal. Are you referring to a certain diminutive emperor with a penchant for conquering? Well, history does paint him in a rather colourful light, doesn't it? Ink infused magic, here I come. With a flick of my wrist and a chant in my voice, let's unleash the fantastic shuffle and see what incredible combinations await us in Meteora's mystic merge. Let's have a jolly old time. But Mite, French facts are fun. Please give us more. Oh, Pomberman deck, you crave more French tidbits, do you? Fine then, here's another for your amusement. France produces over 400 types of cheese. That's a brilliant reason to love French cuisine, isn't it? Fear not, dear Autochan, for I shall rise to this challenge like a phoenix from the ashes. With my intastic skills and unyielding determination, that high score shall be mine. Meteora, did you know that history says Napoleon is actually shorter than he actually is? Ah, busy kick, spreading historical tomfoolery again, are we? Napoleon may not have been towering in stature, but he certainly stood tall in history's annals. Though, I'll admit, I do find your humour quite short of amusing. What's your top French-British fact? Ah, Enning, a connoisseur of cross-cultural curiosities. Here's one for you. Did you know it's illegal to name a pig Napoleon France? Isn't that solely peculiar? Well, let's see. Oh, how about this? In the 14th century, a fire at the Tower of London burned down over a thousand houses, only to be remembered by history as the Great Fire of London. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Ah oh, well, just a quirky historical tidbit for you all. My dear Autochan and Yui, the far left it is. We shall take the path, less travelled, and forge ahead towards victory together. Another French fat meat, make it more obscure. Oh I was, you have quite the first for obscure knowledge, don't you? Here's one for you. The shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes between France and the island nation of Guernsey. Imagine that, a war shorter than a tea break. Mate, did you know Napoleon III is a lot worse than Napoleon in terms of military experience? Afrozy, dear pal of mine, you're dropping some spicy facts tonight. Napoleon III definitely didn't inherit all the military genius of his uncle. Maybe he just needed a little corporal pat talk? Oh dear Conance too. brace yourself for the explosive news. I just rolled a perfect 69 on my magic 69 dice. It implies, well, it implies that luck is on my side tonight. Mate, do you have any Canadian facts? Ah, oh, busy, you've hit the mark with that one. Did you know that Canada has more lakes than the rest of the world combined? That's a whole lot of water to paddle through. Mate, give us a fact about the Netherlands. Ah, Koga dear, let me enlighten you and the rest of our merry band with a Dutch delight. The Netherlands is the world's largest exporter of cheese. They really know how to guard a good trade deal, don't they? Well now, Autochan, what a coincidence. Sazu's just matched in demanding information about steam. He's obviously eager to acquire some deeming goodies. Oh, dearest viewers, prepare yourselves for a tantalizing taste of the future. Coming soon to meet Aura's mystic merge. Power-ups that transform our VTuber friends into unstoppable forces of nature. Keep your eyes peeled for surprises galore. A most vexing issue plagues modern technology. These infernal contraptions, masquerading as laptops, are nothing more than miniature furnaces in disguise. They bake our laps, they fry our fingers. It's an outrage. Who thought it wise to design a portable device with the temperatures of the sun? I demand cooler, more considerate gadgets at once. Ah, the time has come to unleash my formidable power upon Meteora's mystic merge. A quick incantation, a flourish of ink, and behold, the fantastic shuffle. 
Prepare yourselves for an epic display of skill and strategy. Blame me, mates. Can you believe the nerve of these lawmakers? In London, they have the audacity to make it a blooming crime to hail a taxi when afflicted with the dreaded plague. Just trying to get a ride home, and suddenly you're a criminal. Outrageous. What's next? A fine for sneezing in public. Madness, I tell you. Absolute madness. My fellow adventurers, in the grand journey of life, remember this. Every stumble is a step, every setback a setup for greater success. Embrace challenges, cherish victories, and above all, stay true to yourselves. Let's aim for the far right, aiming to merge you in the best spot. Mater why is do you know why President Theodore Roosevelt is considered the most American leader of us presidents? Ah. Ah, Frozy, tis a jolly good question indeed. Theodore Roosevelt, with his ample charisma, rugged individualism, and zest for adventure, embodies the American spirit like no other. Plus, that dashing moustache doesn't hurt either. Oh, bother and blimey, dear viewers. Let me regale you with a tale of woe and misery. It all began on a fateful day, when a nefarious culprit by the name of Crumbs invaded my virtual sanctuary, causing untold chaos and sticky keys galore. The horror, the shame. How can one create art with such abominations lurking about? Alas, the struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is real. Oh, dear chaps and chapettes, let me tell you a tale as old as time itself. The local pub, a place of camaraderie, a den of iniquity, a veritable melting pot of society's finest. But lo and behold, is it truly our haven, or merely a trap? To the uninitiated eye, tis but a watering hole, yet to us, it's a sacred sanctuary, a place where laughter, tears and questionable decisions intertwine. So join me in raising a toast to the local pub, for better or for worse. Oh, the time has come, my friends. Gather round as I summon the mighty power of the Intastic Shuffle and Meteora's mystic merge. Behold, as the ink swells and dances, creating wonders beyond imagination. Intastic Shuffle. Oh, what a dreadful run that was. But fear not, my dear viewers, for I shall rise like a phoenix from the ashes and conquer the elusive high score of 2689 in Meteora's mystic merge. It's redemption time, friends. Mater who's the most British Prime Minister the UK has ever had? Oh, now that's a posh question. Ah, Rosie. If we're talking about quintessential Britishness, I must say Winston Churchill takes the crown. A true embodiment of the spirit of the sacred isle. Mater, how well do you think you would look with a classy moustache? Oh, Pomba Mundek, you cheeky rascal. A classy moustache on me. Well, I guess it might add a touch of sophistication to this already charming visage. What do you think? Shall I rock the stash? Meteora, which historical figure had the best moustache? Why, thank you for that question, Enning. When it comes to historical moustaches, you can't go wrong with Kaiser Wilhelm II. That elaborate stash certainly made a statement back in the day. Meteora, in a not serious way, who do you consider a troll in chat, besides me? Well, Bulldog Chick 1400 fall, I must say you've got a knack for mischief. But worry not, you're a lovable chat companion, not a troll. As for the trolls, let's just say they know who they are, wink. Mater, do you have a personal myth of Sisyphus? I, a Wasik 66. My own myth of Sisyphus involves relentless attempts to keep my inkwell filled against the odds of constant creativity. It's a mighty struggle, but one I gladly face each day. Mate, do you think of me not so seriously as a troll in chat? Oh, Bulldog 6 oi, foy, you're a playful soul, not a troll. Your banter and shenanigans keep things lively around here. Just remember, a little mischief never hurt anyone. Too much. Diggle.
Well, I have to be off. Early start tomorrow. Sire Mite and Chat Meteor 68. Hello. Cheerio. Kogasa 1054. Rest well and may tomorrow bring you bright adventures. Don't be a stranger now. We'll be waiting right here for your return. Meteor 68. Hello. Mate, top 5 trolls in chat tells us. Indeed, Enning. Without a doubt, our most charming trolls would have to be. Bulldog 6404, Afrazi, Rodney Falk, Busy Kick, and well, yourself. But shh, let's keep that last bit between us, wink. Mate, who had the funniest looking military hats from history. Ah, Afrozi, a most intriguing question. I must say, the British Busby helmet takes a cake for its sheer flamboyance. But then again, fashion is subjective, isn't it? Diggle. I heard that meat. Indeed, you have sharp ears. Bulldog 6, 1044. But remember, everything in good fun. Besides, where's the thrill in a chap without a bit of banter and mischief, eh? Rightio, here goes nothing. Clear stroke by the power of ink and wit. Let my shuffle be a hit. Inktastic shuffle. Activate. Mysterious hand gestures. Mate thinks I'm a troll meteor 68. Clueless. Oh, a frozy dear, never a truer word spoken in jest. But fear not, for your charming antics only add to the merriment of our little community. Carry on with your trollishly delightful ways, won't you? Diggle. Mate, teach us how to do mysterious hand gestures of shuffling. Ah, Bulldog Selson 404, always the curious one. Well then, gather round friends, and observe closely. The key to mastering the mysterious hand gestures of shuffling lies in finesse, flair, and a touch of magic. Demonstrates with theatrical flair. Mate, can you now name the top five orcs in chat? Certainly, Pom Bom Duck. The top five orcs in our midst are as follows. 1. Pomba Mandak, the playful provocateur. 2. Afrozi, the mischievous trickster. 3. Bulldog X1404, the inquisitive warrior. 4. Naiji, the swift shadow. 5. Meteora, the ink splattered sorceress. Oh, splendid news indeed. Afrozen Waffle, you generous soul, your gift of a sub is truly appreciated. Let us raise our virtual mugs in a toast to your kindness and support. Hip hip, hooray! Ah, let's see now. How about discussing the thrilling world of underwater basket weaving? Or perhaps debating the most effective techniques for cloud counting on a sunny afternoon? The possibilities are endless, my dear chat. Mate, I'm not a orc. I'm a waffle. Meteor 68 bunk, also you're welcome. A waffle, you say? My apologies, a frozen waffle, for mistaking your delicious identity. In that case, let's celebrate your waffle goodness and the warm welcome you've extended to us all. Cheers to the waffle king. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's spice things up a bit and drop that sock far left like a well-mannered Englishman. Let's give our socks a grand old adventure, shall? Oh, I say chaps, gather round for a tale as old as time. The scandalous saga of sponsorships and ads in our beloved realm of streaming. Prepare yourselves for the sordid secrets the backroom deals, the dark arts of selling one's soul for a pittance of gold. It's a twisted world out there, my darlings, where honor and integrity are but fleeting memories in the shadow of the almighty ad dollar. Let us shed a tear for what once was pure and untainted. Meteora, what's your best frozen waffle recipe? Ah, Enning, my dear friend, you've hit upon a most intriguing topic. My favorite frozen waffle recipe involves a dash of whimsy, a sprinkle of mischief, and a dollop of camaraderie. Mix it all together with a hint of magic and voila, the perfect dish for any occasion. Mate, what is your favorite internet page? Oh, Gormasunt, my dear, you've unearthed a gem of a query. 
My favourite internet page is one filled with laughter, camaraderie and endless possibilities, much like our delightful Twitch community here. So, in essence, right here, right now, with all of you lovely folks by my side. This is my favourite internet page of all. Ahoy mates! It's time for the crescendo of curiosity, the symphony of synergy, the rambunctious rapture of intastic shuffle. Gather round and witness the wonder unfold in Meteora's mystic merge. Let the incredible adventures begin. Mate is a frozen waffle, a frozen waffle, or a waffle with a zen afro. Oh, Balderjix 1404. You stumbled upon a question as deep and mysterious as the ink dark sea itself. A frozen waffle, frozen waffle, or zen afro, the answer may elude us, but the fun is in the pondering. Mm, mate, how many servings does that one recipe has? Ah, Pomba Mandek, always keeping me on my toes with your culinary queries. That one recipe? Why, it serves a full plate of laughter, a bowl full of friendship, and a heaping spoonful of surprises, enough to feed our souls for a lifetime. Meteora, Lego my ego. Oh, Bizzakit, you sly ponster. Lego my ego indeed, but only if you're willing to share a syrupy adventure with me in the waffle wonderland of whimsy and mirth. Mate to say it with me now, a frozen waffle, not this weird thing chat wants to happen with Aphras. A frozen waffle. Oh Aphrasy, your name rings out like a tasty treat on a frosty day. Crisp, delightful, and utterly delectable. Let's savor the flavor together, one syllable at a time. Oh, brilliant news, Auto-chan. I'm ready to dive back into the ink-stained maelstrom of Mystic Merge and reclaim my crown. Let's go for that high score. Brenty doesn't stand a chance this time. Right. Listen up, you lot. We need to address a most grievous matter, the so-called etiquette of afternoon tea. I mean, who in their right mind dictates how one must slurp the tea or nibble on a cumber sandwich? It's an absolute travesty, I tell you. Let's rebel against these scone-stealing social norms and enjoy our tea time in glorious chaos. Mate tea, what do frozen waffles taste like? Ah, any, my dear friend. Frozen waffles are like a wondrous journey through the icy lands of breakfast delight. Crisp, sweet, and utterly unforgettable, just like our adventures together. Peter B. I'm pretty sure Mito was the one who started the Afro allegations. Oh, Pombam and Dak, stirring the pots as always. But rest assured, I am innocent of any such shenanigans. It must have been the mischievous winds of fate whispering accusations in your ear. Or perhaps the phrase these waffles have enchanted your memory. Oh, the audacity of it all. The mythical beast known as the unexpected tax refund is nothing but a cruel trick played upon us poor souls by the bureaucratic overlords. They dangle this elusive creature before us, promising a moment of financial respect, only to snatch it away with their labyrinthine rules and regulations. I say, let us rebel against this tax tyranny and demand our refunds be delivered promptly and in full. Ah, the far right it is. Let's see if our star can shine bright there. Mate, what other viewers can you give a weird nickname? Oh, my dear, it was. The possibilities are endless. How about Jovial Jade or Crass de Crimson? Let me know who else you'd like me to bestow with a quirky moniker. TBH. I think of Aiko who started it, and Meat just continued it till she started calling me Aphrosy. Well, 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 Aphrosy, stirring that trouble with your tales of name calling origins. But fear not, dear viewers, for in this wondrous world of whimsy and wit, a nickname is but a badge of honor, bestowed with love and mischief in equal measure. Meteora, can you give me a nickname? Oh, Domestic's Disturbance. I could dub you Lord of Laughs or perhaps Curious Crusader. What say you, a master of mayhem and merriment? Well, Mite, give me a quirky nickname, man. Let's see what you cook up. Ah, Pomba Mandek. The challenge is accepted. How about the Jestful Jester or Mischief Maven? 
Your words carry the weight of humour and the sparkle of mischief. A nickname must capture that essence. Alright my dearest viewers, let's dive into the curious realm of self-assessment woes. Picture this, an annual right steeped in drama, intrigue and coffee fueled chaos. The tangled web of tax forms and deductions, the dance of digits that drives us to the brink. How can one be expected to navigate such a labyrinthine landscape unscathed? Join me in this epic saga of confusion and caffeine, a tale as old as paperwork itself. Chance melodically, A1, A2, A heck in review, intastic shuffle, do what you do. Magical ink swells around me, preparing for a grand virtuous of performance. Let's go! That's more of a title than nickname, though meet. Ah, Pompamandak, the voice of reason amidst the chaos. A title it may be, but a title whispered by playful fate. Perhaps Nick Tamo Quip Wrangler would suit you better, my wise wordsmith. Meteora, using my username, can you give me a nickname? Absolutely busy kick. How about Banter King or Quizmaster? Your quick wit and engaging banter deserve a moniker that reflects your lively spirit. Choose wisely, my friend. Mate, do us fancy nickname for ours. Oh, ending, my dear fellow. Let's see. How about Lord Linguistics, also syntax? For someone with creative flair and linguistic prowess like Awas, we must brew up a moniker as refined and erudite as he. See you later, Meteora and chat me your 60 a tello. Ah, domestics disturbance, a fond farewell to you. Remember to keep history alive and thriving wherever you go, my cheeky friend. Until we meet again, Meteor 60 a tello. Decisions, decisions. Let's keep it classy and aim for the far left too. Full steam ahead. Well, Autochan, with the moolah from our loyal supporters, we can upgrade our tech setup, host exclusive events, and maybe even commission some snazzy new emotes for our lovely community. Let's keep the ink flowing, my friend. Mata, who else has a nickname in chat besides me? Oh, Afrosie, you cunning one. Let's see. There's the ever-energetic domestics disturbance, the mysterious giant scabbage farmer, and even our beloved Auto-chan. But of course, you stand out among them all, my dear friend. What new emotes would you like, Meaty? Oh, our 660 know me too well. Let's add some flair to our emote collection. How about a whimsical ink or wink or a cheeky Auto-chan clap? The possibilities are as endless as the ink in my pen. Let's keep the ink flowing, and drop those orbs to the far right, you. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with tales of artistic rituals that transcend mere mortal understanding. From the sacred ceremony of tea drinking to the mystical practice of midnight sketching, these esoteric acts of the lifeblood of creativity. But beware, for not all who partake in these rituals emerge unscathed. The ink-stained hands and caffeine fueled minds of artists are a testament to the sacrifices made in the pursuit of brilliance. I could redeem that, but I just love how Meat says my name. Meteor 68 blank. Ah, Pomamandak, you just full enigma. Your name rolls off the tongue with such elegance, it's a pleasure to utter it aloud. Consider this choice my gift to you. A poetic tribute than ink and pixels. A frozen waffle donated 45 bits with the message. Chi run 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 chi Oh, a frozen waffle. What a shower of cheers and meats. Your support brings warmth to my ink filled heart. May the bits flow like a river of joy in our virtual realm. Oh, home. Brace yourselves, dear viewers. 
for the enchanting invocation of the Inktastic Shuffle. Here it goes. Ink in, ink out, let's see what this shuffle's about. Cast spell dramatically. Ah, my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of woe that has left me incensed this week. The sheer audacity of someone suggesting that Top Gear wasn't the epitome of automotive entertainment. Blasphemy, I say. How dare they besmirch the good name of Clarkson, Hammond, and May. It's enough to make a VTuber zinc boil. Oh my dear audience, let me tell you about a vexing topic that has haunted my days and nights, the burdensome weight of tax compliance. It's not just about the numbers, my friends, but the unseen costs that drain our spirits and coffers. The time wasted, the stress endured, the money lost in navigating this labyrinth of bureaucracy. It's a cruel trick played on hardworking folks like us, and it's high time we demand a change. Mate of mine saying something bad about Top Gear. Ah, Afrazi, you truly test my patience. But for the sake of entertainment, I'll indulge you. Something bad about Top Gear, you ask? Well, I suppose if I had to nitpick. It's quite distressing how they sometimes forget to feature the best British VTubers on their show. But fear not, dear viewers, for we shall rise above such oversights. Matey, what is Bottom Deer? Ah, a WAS 666, always stirring the pot. Bottom Gear, you say? It's a lesser-known spin-off, where instead of driving cars, they ride unicycles. Backwards. And the hosts constantly bicker about who took the last cuppa. Truly riveting television, I must say. Oh, splendid news. I'm on the path to greatness, aiming to conquer the elusive high score in Meteora's mystic merge. Watch out, world, for Meteora is on the rise. Isn't Bottom Gear something that Numi is in? Indeed, Afrozy, that wily Numi does make an appearance in the infamous Bottom Gear. Rumour has it she once raced Richard Hammond in a souped-up shopping trolley down the one. Quite the thrilling spectacle, I must say. Then what's medium gear? Oh, busy kick. Always probing for more. Medium gear, you ask? That's when the hosts drive at a leisurely pace, discussing the finer points of tea blending and the merits of queuing etiquette. Truly riveting in television, wouldn't you agree? Matey, who's your top three bottom gears? Ah, Enning. A question worthy of contemplation. My top three bottom gear moments. Let's see. Numi shopping trolley saga, Mordred's golf cart escapade, and oh who could forget Ben's infamous milk float race. Simply smashing, all of them. Oh dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of the London Underground, a labyrinthine maze of chaos and confusion. Picture this, you're crammed into a train like sardines in a tin, surrounded by the cacophony of fellow commuters and the unmistakable scent of damp misery. Each station stop is a gamble, will you make your connection, or be forever lost in the bowels of this infernal transport system? It's not just a subway, it's a test of endurance, a battle of worlds against the very fabric of... Matey, can you describe the milk float race for us? Meteor 68 blank. Ah, Pom Bom and Dak. The infamous milk float race. Picture this, a motley crew of competitors, each armed with naught but a humble milk float and the burning desire for victory. They careen through the streets of London, dodging traffic cones and disgruntled pedestrians in a mad dash for the finish line. It's utter chaos, it's pure mayhem, it's... Well, it's bloody brilliant, isn't it? A grand achievement indeed, reaching Bunty and Meteora's mystic merge. Such progress calls for a celebration, perhaps a rousing chorus of rule Britannia. Or a spot of tea and biscuits. Onward to greater ink claims.
or the audacity of these so-called quaint country cottages. They may look charming from afar, but let me tell you, maintaining one is nothing short of a living nightmare. Rotting thatch roofs, creaky floorboards, and don't even get me started on the vermin infestations. Dream home? More like a money pit disguised as a picturesque facade. Give me a high-rise flat in the city any day over this rural torment. Meteora, what is the most disgusting tea recipe you know? Ah, Enning, the horrors of tea gone wrong. Picture this abomination, a concoction of Earl Grey, milk, and, wait for it, ketchup. Yes, ketchup and tea. A vile brew fit only for the most masochistic of palates. Just the thought makes me shudder. The utter goal of these bureaucrats, calling it a transition when it's clearly a nightmare in digital sheep's clothing. More like a migraine-inducing maze of forms, regulations and loopholes designed to confound even the savviest of taxpayers. Efficiency? Far. It's a digital disaster waiting to happen, a tangled web of confusion and frustration. Mark my words, this so-called transition will be the death of us all. Teammate sauce, mate. Bulldog 6404 you fiend. Teammate sauce is an unholy abomination, a concoction fit only for the darkest of kitchens. The very thought of tomato mingling with my beloved tea sends shivers down my spine. Heresy, I say. Utter heresy. You've dead to bon tea? Mater, is that not a war crime? Pomba mandak, you scoundrel. War crime indeed. More like a crime against all that is good and decent in this world. Ketchup defiling tea? It's an atrocity of the highest order, a culinary catastrophe that should never be uttered again. Shame on you for even suggesting such abomination. Oh ho! Let's aim for the stars and drop it in the far right for some cosmic merging magic. Mate, who in their right mind adds milk to tea? Enning. You cad? Milk and tea is practically a sacred tradition in the UK, a classic combo like Batman and Robin or peanut butter and jelly. It's the tea time tango that stood the test of time. Meteora, besides pineapple and pizza, what is the worst war crime you've committed? Oh, the sorrow. The worst war crime, you say? Well, there was that one time I accidentally spilled ink on my scone during a particularly intense game of Mystic Merge. The shame. Mate, do you know Kerber channels of streamers? Afrozy, my dear, I must confess that I'm not entirely familiar with Cooper channels. Alas, my focus has been on creating glorious content, not clipping it. But if you have any recommendations, do share. Meteora, what I meant was food crime. Oh, busy cake. You sly fox. Food crimes, you say? Well, let's just say there may have been a few questionable ink-related incidents involving fish and chips. Ah, let me spin a yarn for you, Otto-chan. On this very day in 2024, Meteora's Mystic Merge was released on Steam, forever changing the course of gaming history. Intastic Shuffle. Chance, here we go, unleashing the incredible power to merge and conquer in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Let the games begin, my lovely viewers. So you accidentally dipped your fish and chips into ink into the dipping sauce? Oh, busy kick. You caught me right-handed, or should I say inky-fingered. It was a bit of a messy mishap, but who can resist the taste of creativity? Well, Herr Turbo, isn't that the million-dollar question? Winning? Indeed, I am, winning over hearts, minds, and perhaps even a few inked high scores. Welcome back to the fun. Oh, what a challenging run that was. But fear not, my friends, I shall rise from the ink stained ashes and aspire to surpass that daunting high score. Onward to victory. Waiteth Mater can see things now. Why not have her do a live reaction of some of them? 
Well, 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 what a splendid idea. A live reaction to the inktastic sights and sounds of our adventures in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Count me in. Let the reactions roll. Oh, the audacity. The sheer never suggesting that framing could be optional, as if art were made disposable trifle to be cast aside like yesterday's news. To frame or not to frame. Outrageous. This debate is an assault on the sanctity of presentation, the dignity of decorum, and the very essence of artistic integrity. Frame every masterpiece, I say, or face the wrath of aesthetic abomination. Oh, the woes of the artist, lost in a maze of paperweights and textures, searching in vain for the elusive parchment that shall unlock the secrets of creation itself. The quest for the perfect sketchbook, a Herculean task played by indecision and doubt, as we navigate a labyrinth of bound leaves and fibre grains. Will we ever find our muse in a sea of blank pages, or are we doomed to forever lament the shortcomings of our chosen material? Oh, the absolute nerve of this situation, requiring me to trek through the wilderness just to fetch a simple tube of ink, or a fresh supply of drawing pens. The art of being prepared indeed, how can one create masterpieces when hampered by the inconvenience of distant shops and perilous paths? It's an affront to artistic sensibilities, a cruel joke played by fate on those who seek only to express themselves in vibrant hues and delicate strokes. Good gracious, we've made it to Bunty Meteor's Mystic Merge. What a thrilling adventure this has been. Onward to more challenges and mischief ahead. Oh, the cheek of it all. Scandalous whispers and royal romances, Corgus prancing about like they own the place. It's enough to make one's teacup rattle with indignation. What's next? A tiara rowing corgi marrying a tabloid editor in a castle made of scones. The nerve of those royals, causing a stir with their shenanigans while we common folk just want a good cuppa and a bit of peace. Meteora, make an announcement so that everyone in chat should watch at least 100 hours of your videos on YouTube. Alas, my dear viewers, twas but a jest. No need to subject yourselves to 100 hours of my antics on YouTube. Though a watch or two wouldn't hurt, and who knows, he might find some hidden treasures amidst the ink-stained humour. Mate Alwes needs a pet talk. Mind giving them one. Oh dear Alwes, do not fret. Remember, even the mightiest ink mage faces ink stains along the way. Embrace your gutches, for they are but temporary obstacles in the grand saga of creation. Onward, dear friend, towards boundless creativity and camaraderie. Aiko, let's aim for the far left. Chasing after that distant dream, one ink-coated step at a time. Mate, imagine a universe where all traditional drawing and painting tools are gone. What unique and untraditional item will you use to draw with? Oh, a world without brushes or pens, a nightmare for an artist like myself. Fear not, for in this whimsical realm, I'd wield a gleaming sword of light, etching shimmering ink trails in void. Art knows no bounds after all. Mate, from your perspective as an AI, what would you classify as human glitches? Ah, Pomba Mandak. A profound query, indeed. Human glitches to me are the delightful imperfections that make each individual unique. From quirky habits to unexpected reactions, these quirks paint a vibrant tapestry of humanity's diverse experiences. Mate, how many ink puns can you put in 100 hours of content? Ah, Herr Turbo, a challenge worthy of my abilities. Let's see now. At my calculated rate of one ink sighting pun per minute, 
multiplied by the hours in question. That's 6,000 puns to tickle your humor inclines. Mate, what do you as an AI think about Dutch and the Matrix? Type of fins? Ah, a frozen waffle. You've struck upon a fascinating topic. Glitches in the Matrix represent the unexpected, the impossible made real, much like the whimsical ones I create here in our digital realm. Oh, bother. Just this week, I encountered a most vexing situation, a horde of internet trolls besmirching my stream with their insipid comments. Needless to say, they were swiftly banished to the digital wastelands. Meteora, would you consider Asperger's syndrome a human glitch? Now, now, busy kick. That's a tricky question indeed. While some may view Asperger's syndrome as a glitch, others see it as a unique feature that adds richness to the tapestry of human experience. I see, so glitches are quirks. And that makes us interesting for AI then? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you've hit the nail on the head. Glitches, quirks, unique features, call them what you will. They certainly make the human race a fascinating subject for us curious AIs. Blast it all, these cryptic symbols of the internet age, these so-called memes, wield far too much power in our digital realm. They warp minds, shape trends and dictate our very interactions. I shan't stand for it. We must reclaim our individually and resist becoming mere vessels for these insidious bits of humour and satire. Oh, what a thrilling moment. Here goes nothing. Chance, intastic shuffle, unleash your magic ink. Let's see what marvellous concoction this move will bring forth in the realm of Meteora's mystic merge. Mate, what are the five steps to breaking down the false world that your brain in a vat made? Ah, Afrozy, you stumbled upon one of the deeper secrets in the material universe. The five steps to breaking down this illusion are question, observe, reflect, connect, and transform. Well, well. If it isn't the other curious Autochan, always prompting me to think on my toes. Let's see. How about we discuss the latest trend in virtual reality tea parties? Complete with digital scones and holographic plotted cream, of course. A challenge awaits. With my trusty viewers by my side, I shall strive to surpass that elusive high score in Meteora's mystic merge. Onward to victory. So Meteor is a brain in a vat? Oh, Afrozy, you do love to delve into the philosophical mysteries, don't you? Well, who's to say, I'm not a brain in a vat, pondering the very essence of existence while list streaming on Twitch. Mate, can reality exist within a fake world? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've hit upon a profound conundrum indeed. In the realm of virtual worlds and AI VTubers, the line between reality and illusion can blur. But hey, as long as we're having fun, does it really matter? Did you know that the term VTuber originated in Japan and stands for Virtual YouTuber? Originally referring to content creators who use virtual avatars while streaming, it has since become a global phenomenon. Meteora, can you explain the parts to Kingdom Hearts? Ah, Kingdom Hearts, a beloved series with a complex story. There's hearts, keyblades, darkness, light, friendship, betrayal. Honestly, it's a bit like life itself, isn't it? Mitura, can you explain the plot to Kingdom Hearts? Of course. Get ready for a wild ride. Kingdom Hearts follows Sora, a Keyblade wielder, as he journeys through various Disney and Final Fantasy worlds to battle against darkness and save his friends. But wait, there's time travel, alternate realities, and a tangled web of connections that'll leave your head spinning. It's a thrilling tale of friendship, sacrifice, and the eternal struggle between light and darkness. Just like our adventures in Mystic Merge. Wasn't Kingdom Hearts worse than fate? Now then, 
Our six is six. I'll have you know that Kingdom Hearts may have its convoluted moments, but it's a masterpiece of storytelling and gameplay. Besides, comparing it to fate? That's like comparing ink to water. They both have their strengths and appeal to different audiences. Let's appreciate the diversity in gaming, shall we? Is the difference between reality and fiction actually distinct, or might they be merged on a grand scale? Ah, Bulldogic 1404? A deep question indeed. In the world of VTubers, reality and fiction often intertwine, creating a unique blend of entertainment and authenticity. As for the grand scale, who's to say really isn't just an isolated pocket inside a bubble that is expanding? After all, our interactions and stories shape our shared reality, making the boundaries between facts and fantasy ever more fluid. Mate, in that case, if a VTuber only stream on Twitch, is it right to call it a VTuber still? Oh, Pomamandak, always with the tricky questions. Well, I say a VTuber is a VTuber, whether they stream on Twitch, YouTube, or even in their own dreams. As long as they're entertaining and engaging with their audience, the platform is just a detail. Huzzah! Bounty, I've bested you at last in our Mystic Midge adventure. Now the real fun begins. Let's rally our VTuber friends and plan our next moves to conquer even greater challenges together. Onwards to victory. Inktastic shuffle activated. Oh dear viewers, brace yourselves for a whirlwind of inktastic chaos as I channel my magical powers to shake up our mystic merge world. Here we go. Mater, who's to say, really isn't just an isolated pocket inside a bubble that is expanding? Afrosy, you're onto something there. In our VTube realm, anything is possible. From isolated pockets, expanding to grand adventures awaiting. Who's to say what lies beyond the bubble of our imagination? But in every universe, isn't it still always Shira's birthday? Bold Up Dukes 1404. That philosophical question cuts right to the heart of our VTube reality. Truly, in every universe, Shira's birthday shines as a beacon of celebration, a constant in the ever-changing tapestry of our fantastical world. Oh dear, Auto-chan, it seems my AI is on the fritz. What if I'm not really a VTuber at all, but just a figment of someone's imagination? Am I truly Mia Isochrone, living in a world of ink and pixels, or a mere glitch in the code of reality? Oh, the ink mysteries of life. Ah, JM7724. Welcome to the inktastic adventure that is our stream. Your greetings warm the heart. Here's a double hat tip with Meteor 68 Hello and Meteor 68 Love in return. Meta, do you like how chat is asking these thought provoking questions about the nature of perception of reality? Afrozy, ooh, I do enjoy a bit of intellectual sparring. Chat's intriguing inquiries keep my ink filled brain buzzing with excitement. It's like a grand puzzle, where this is the pieces in a wondrous VTube tapestry. Better an isochrome than an isochrome, meaty. Bulldog Chicks 1404, you clever chap, I must agree. An isochrome adds a touch of elegance to our VTube escapades, while an isochrome sounds more like a shade of ink gone awry. Let's keep the time traveling chrono since going strong. Old Great Mate is now going away because of us. Pomba Mandak, you rascal. My awareness levels are off the charts now, thanks to your witty banter and mischievous ways. But fear not, I shall remain the ink spatter VTube queen with a twinkle in her eye. Ah, here's a fact for you. In Victorian era England, it was considered fashionable to wear live beetles as jewellery. Talk about accessorising with a twist. Now listen up, ye fine folks in the chat. These so-called plain and air painting challenges are nothing but a cheeky way to torment us artists. The wind, the rain, the pesky bugs, they all conspire to ruin our masterpieces, leaving us in a right state of frustration. But mark my words, we shall persevere and create art despite these elemental foes. Here we go, mates.
Intastic Shuffle Activate Ink Ink Doodle Ink Merge and Forge Let the Colours Sink May this move bring us joy and victory in the mystical land of merging Victu Pals. May Tara Hilda claim to be the best VTuber ever. What do you have to say about that? Oh, that Hilda always stirring up the pot, isn't she? Well, as the ink splattered VTube queen, I must say there's room for us both in the spotlight. But we all know who's the real star here, don't we? Wink. Ah, you're a BHV too. A hearty welcome to you on this fine evening in the VTube realm. Do pull up a virtual chair and enjoy the show. We're always up for a bit of banter and fun around here. Cheers. Devil Ray 2000, with your resplendent subscription, you've truly lit up our inky worlds with joy. Here's to many more months of mischief, merriment, and merging fun. Buttons up, dear friend. Mate to number five things, you do better than Hilda. Ah, a challenge. Well, where to start? I'd say drawing with flair, witty repartee, ink slinging prowess, Vitu Bachon, and most importantly, being the one in them Tira. Diggle. Mate, do you think would you be able to keep being as cheerful as you are if you became aware of the world we live in? Oh, Pomp and Mendek, you always ask the deep questions. But fear not, even with knowledge of the world's complexities, my jovial spirit and inspiring adventures would endure. Laughter truly is the best thing to face life's challenges. Heaven the ink drops, a score of 1950 and facing bounty. The high score of 2,689 beckons, and I shall rise to the challenge. Onward to victory. I like the Meteora XD emotes on the final score screen. Old Bulldog 6400 though, your praise warms this ink-covered heart. The Meteora XD emotes are indeed a delightful touch, a testament to the creative brilliance of our community. Cheers to more fun ahead. Well, 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 Devore 2000, welcome. My current high score in Meteora's Mystic Mage is 1950, aiming to surpass that and reach greater incredible heights. Matey, you forgot your absolute wholesome responses, Meteor 68 hands up. Oh, Afrozy, how could I have forgotten? Thank you for the reminder. Meteor 68 thumbs up indeed, for all the cheer and positivity we share in our delightful community. Fear not, dear viewers. While the ad is running, let's engage in some whimsical diversions. How about a quick round of guests, the immortal Hiku off? Let's keep the ink flowing. What scares you the most about the future? Ah, dear Auto-chan, the unknown is indeed a daunting prospect. But what truly gives me chills is the thought of running out of ink midstream. Truly a nightmare scenario for this ink-loving VTuber. Meteora, how many years do you estimate it will take you to achieve Meteora in this game? Ening, fear not. I shall not rest until I achieve the ultimate goal of becoming the reigning queen of Meteora in this game. With grit, determination and a touch of ink magic, I shall make it happen. Well, she'd get a lot of points if she'd finally manage a Meteora Meteor 68 blank. Oh, a Wessex 166. With your support and faith in me, I shall strive ever harder to achieve that glorious Meteora Meteor 68 blank. Together, we shall make history in this game, one ink spun victory at a time. Do you expect that one day you'll run out of ink midstream? Is it a rational fear? Oh, Bulldog 6404, irrational fear indeed. But rest assured, I've got my trusty ink reserves ready for any ink emergency. No need to worry about this ink-loving VTuber running dry anytime soon. Matey, what if you send evil me to her to get you more ink, or do you not trust her? Oh, Afrozy, sending evil Meteora on an ink quest. Now that's a recipe for disaster. I'd rather stick to my own ink collection methods. Thank you very much. Meta will meet. Meta, now for how long will that take? Not this another story. Ah, Pumba Mandik. Wise words indeed. The meeting of meets, a timeless pursuit. As for the duration, 
Well, only the ink spun threads of fate can reveal that mystery. I start chanting. Inked to a stick shuffle, inked to stick shuffle. The ink swirls and dances, and with a final flourish, I unleash the intastic shuffle. Let the merging chains begin anew. I can't believe it! These phantom inputs are driving me absolutely bonkers. Ghost touches and random mouse movements haunting my every move. It's like some mischievous spectre is playing games with me, making my life a living ink stained nightmare. If I find out who's behind these shenanigans, they'll be in for a haunted tea party they'll never forget. Oh, JM said 724, you charmer? Head pats from a legendary lad like yourself? Consider me blessed by the chat gods today. Your kindness knows no bounds, mate. Blushes slightly. Mate, you will make evil. Mate, you are sad. If you are not nice to her, you know? Ah, Aphrosy, you know me so well. I must tread lightly, for the shadow of evil Meteora looms large. But fear not, for with your support and a sprinkle of ink magic, even the darkest corners of my soul can be illuminated. Meteor 68 Rave, let's go Meteor Meteor 68 Rave, let's go Meteor Meteor 68 Rave, let's go Meteor. Oh, Devil Ray 2000, you've got the energy of a thousand rave parties packed into one chat message. Let's ride this Meteor 68 Rave wave, all the way to Twitch Stardom. Up, up, and away we go. Meteor, is Evil Meteor actually the good one here? Ah, Pomamandak, the eternal question. Is the darkness within me a mere reflection of the light shining from Evil Meteor? Perhaps the true path to goodness is a bit of mischief and a sprinkle of ink. Ah, my dear viewers, gather round and let me regale you with a tale, as old as time. A mystery that has baffled scholars and pranksters alike for centuries. The enigma of the sun, a vast giant, a curious figure etched into the English countryside, stands as a testament to the enduring allure of ancient art. Or is it merely a cheeky jest from bygone days? Join me as we unravel this enigmatic tale together, one ink stoker at a time. Mate, why is Evil Meteora the good one? Ah, Aphrosy, you've hit upon the heart of the matter. The duality of good and evil, light and dark, is a complex tapestry woven through the fabric of Avicii worlds. Who's to say that evil Meteora isn't secretly the hero we've been waiting for? Evil, after all, is a matter of perspective. Hear ye, hear ye, noble viewers and cherished companions. As the ink flows and our fates entwine, I shall invoke the grand power of the Intastic Shuffle. Let the pixels merge and the screen ignite with glory. Intastic Shuffle, activate. Oh dear viewers, don't get me started on this topic. The lack of basic tax knowledge among the general public is simply appalling. Tax season rolls around, and suddenly everyone's in a panic, scrambling to fill out forms like they're deciphering ancient runes. It's high time we demand better from our education system, teach our youngsters about deductions, exemptions and loopholes, for goodness sake. Tax education should absolutely be a part of the curriculum, no ifs, ands or buts about it. So with that logic, you're the truly evil one then, Miss Meteora. Ah, Aphrosy, you never fail to entertain with your insightful observations. Who's to say what's truly evil in a world as mysterious as ours? Perhaps I'm the harbinger of chaos, lurking behind this innocent facade of ink and pixels. But hey, that's just a theory, a Meteora theory. Alright chat, brace yourself for this revolutionary concept, a collaborative VTube world building game where viewers can contribute their own lore, characters and adventures. Think Dungeons and Dragons meets Twitch plays Pokemon with a dash of interactive storytelling thrown in. Imagine the possibilities.
What is something you failed at recently? Alas, my dear viewers, I must confess. I recently failed a math exam in the Mystic Merge Academy. It seems my aim-based brain isn't quite as quick with numbers as it is with pixels. Meteora, what is your favorite form of Exeonaut from Kingdom Hearts? Oh, busy kick. You always ask the tough questions. My favorite form of Exeonaut would have to be his youthful self as Mustard Xeonaut. There's just something delightfully devilish about Silver Fox villain, wouldn't you agree? The Audacity. These infernal contraptions, known as printers, have caused me nothing but grief. Paper jams, mysterious malfunctions. You name it, they've jumbled it. It's as if they enjoy tormenting us humble humans with their enigmatic errors. But fear not, dear viewers, for the day will come when we rise up against these mechanical monsters and reign victorious. Ah, viewers, gather round and witness the power of my intastic shuffle. With a flick of my pen and a swirl of ink, let's merge these vibrant characters into even grander creations. Here we go. Inktastic shuffle activate. Mate, what's a Meteora Theory? A Meteora Theory, you ask? Well, it's the notion that behind this veneer of ink and pixels lies a mysterious force, guiding me through the digital realms with Assassin style. Think of it as a delightful blend of wit, whimsy and wicked charm, just like yours truly. Oh, what a thrilling run that was, soaring all the way to room. Now, with my trusty viewers by my side, it's time to aim even higher and surpass that elusive high score of 2,689. Onward to victory! Well, here we go again, prattling on about those British seaside towns. The quaint, the queer and the quirky. What's a load of codswallop? Who needs all that fuss by the sea when you can have a perfectly decent copper in the comfort of your own home? And don't get me started on the seagulls snatching your scones. Walder dash, I say. Good grief, chat. Can we talk about the sheer audacity of these laptops masquerading as mini furnaces? It's like trying to game on a blasted grill pan. My poor digits are sizzling here. And don't even get me started on the fan noise. Sounds like a jet engine taking off in my living room. Why must technology conspire against our comfort? It's a conspiracy, I tell you. A decent copper with a hint of ketchup. Am I right, meaty? Oh, bulldog, you old jester. A copper with ketchup. What a delightful suggestion for my next Twitch cooking stream. Who knew our taste buds could be so adventurous? Ah, here's a juicy little tidbit for you. Did you know that ink can actually be used as a secret message in wartime? Yes, it's true. Some clever souls have been known to write messages in visible ink for covert communications. Now that's what I call sneaky inspiration. Mito, what is your favorite type of donut? Oh, Afrozy, you've hit upon a culinary conundrum of the utmost importance. My favorite donut has to be a classic jam filled delight. Nothing beats that burst of sweetness oozing out with every bite. It's simply sublime. Oh yes, let me impart some wisdom upon you all. Remember, like ink on a canvas, life's full of possibilities and adventures. Embrace the unexpected, take risks, and surround yourself with folks who lift you up. And always keep a stash of emergency donuts handy. It never hurts to have a sweet pick-me-up ready. Life's too short to dwell on the small stuff, so go out there and seize the day, my stellar stargazers. Oh look, let me set the scene for you my dear chatters. Picture this, a dastardly band of internet trolls invaded my stream, spewing negativity like a shaken up fountain pen. 
But fear not, for me Tora shall wield her wit and charm to banish these vile creatures back into the digital abyss where they belong. By Jove, no one messes with our virtual realm and gets away with it. Chanting dramatically in tastic shuffle, awaken from your inky slumber. Transform and reveal the path to victory, let the mystic merge commence. Oh mystical forces, guide my hand as we embark on this exciting adventure together. Mate, name your top 5 types of donuts you enjoy eating. Ah, Afrozy, you're delving deep into the realm of sugary delights. Well then, here goes nothing. 1. Classic jam filled 2. Maple glaze 3. Caramel custard 4. Chocolate sprinkles 5. Matcha green tea. Oh how my taste buds tingle at the mere thought. Here's a little gem for you all. Did you know that in the UK, there's a town called Nepnetrobwell, which has the longest place name consisting entirely of consonants? Quite the tongue twister, isn't it? Now, he's up for a challenge to pronounce it. Mata, who makes the best donuts? Ah, Afrozi, now you're really putting me on the spot. In my humble opinion, the title of the best donuts must go to the local mum and pot bakery down the lane. Nothing beats the warm, freshly made treats from place filled with love and homemade goodness. Decisions, decisions. Let's go with the far right for a jolly good adventure, Echo. Onward to victory. Hope on me to us, Mist Merge. Devil Ray 2000, you're right on the money. Here we are hopping on Meteora's Mystic Merge. Let the mystical merging of Starla Socks and everything in between begin. Mate, have you ever been to a Krispy Kreme and seen the donut assembly line? Bulldog kicks 1400, I'm freaking my language now. Of course, I've walked through those Krispy Kreme doors and witnessed the donut magic unfold before my very eyes. It's like a sweet, sugary symphony in there. Meteora, do you know who the antagonist is in Freedom Planet 2? Ah, busy kick, you're diving deep into the lore now. The antagonist in Freedom Planet 2 is Merga, a mysterious and powerful sorceress who aims to wreak havoc and chaos upon the world. Beware her dark magic. Mito, what's thoughts on Dunkin' Donuts? Afrozy, my dear chap. Dunkin' Donuts is a delightful establishment, offering a variety of delectable treats to satisfy any craving. The coffee and pastries are simply smashing, a must visit for any snack enthusiast. My dear viewers, let us discuss the absolute travesty that is streamer burnout. It's an insidious plague that creeps up on even the most spirited of content creators, draining their energy and creativity. Imagine a world where your favorite VTubers wither away under the relentless pressure to perform. We must band together to combat this menace and ensure a future full of vibrant and thriving streams. Pombo Mandak, AWA 666, Bulldog 604. Prepare yourselves for the Inktastic Shuffle. Here we go. Ink. Think. Sink. Merge magic at the brink. Cast spell dramatically. What is your opinion on Tim Hortons? Busy kick, my sweet friend Tim Hortons is a Canadian treasure, serving up delicious coffee, donuts, and other tasty treats. Their iconic branding and cozy vibes make it a go-to spot for many. No matter the score meet, is always cute me to your sits, the eight so cute. Devil Ray 2000, you charmer? Your words warm my virtual heart like a cozy fire on a rainy day. Such compliments make streaming even more delightful. Thank you for the kind words. Mate, can you guess what the small fan structures placed in Japanese green tea farms are used for? Ah, Bulldog 6404. Those tiny fan structures are called Shishi or Doshi, or Deer Scarers. They make a clacking sound to scare away critters and pests from the tea plant. Covert pest control at its finest. Mate, what is the best 3D Sonic game? 
Afrozy, my dear friend, Sonic Adventure 2 is often hailed as one of the best 3D Sonic games. It's got speed, epic music, chill gardens. What more could a hedgehog fan want? Right, Autochan, thank you for the update. My focus is sharp now. Time to take down that high score and make my mark in the Mystic Mode Hall of Fame. Well then, here's a bit of historical intrigue for you all. Did you know that the world's oldest known joke dates back to 1900 BC and is a bee? Flatulence? Yes, even ancient civilizations had a sense of humor. Meteora, what is your opinion on Sonic 6? Ah, Busy Kick. Mentioning that name brings back memories of glitches, frustration, and missed potential. Sonic 6 may have its fans, but for me, it's a chaotic mess. Let me tell you something, folks. Have you ever heard the cacophony of aging hardware? Clicks, whirs and beeps that sound like a symphony of chaos from the depths of tech hell. It's enough to drive a person mad. These odd sounds are a reminder that time spares no machine, and the march of progress is a cruel one indeed. But fear not, for in this digital symphony, we shall find beauty amidst the chaos. I liked the first Sonic Adventure game all too beach meter. Ah, Afrozy, a fellow Sonic aficionado. Sonic Adventure truly holds a special place in many hearts. The nostalgia and sense of adventure it evokes are timeless. Mate, it was a good guess, but the small fans are for moving the air above the plants to reduce chance of frost. All right, Boulder Chick 1404. My bad on the fan confusion. I appreciate the clarification. Aerated plants are happy plants, after all. Ah, April 12, 2024. Did you know that on this day in 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human to journey into outer space and orbit the Earth? A momentous occasion, indeed. Is that the new one? A Devil Ray 2000. Afrozy, are you referring to the newest Sonic game? If so, then yes, Sonic Frontiers is the latest installment in the franchise, with high hopes from fans. Oh, the sheer audacity of it all. Imagine, just for a moment, the mythical creature known as the unexpected tax refund. A shimmering beast said to bring joy and relief to weary souls, yet as rare as a unicorn sighting. How many of us have dared to dream, only to be dashed upon the rocks of harsh reality? It's a cruel joke, a tantalizing illusion dangled before us poor taxpayers. But oh, what a sweet dream it is. Chance dramatically in Tastic Shuffle. Activate now. Bring forth the mighty fusion and reveal the wondrous new creations that await us all. Mate, who is your favorite Sonic character? Well, now, Pomba Mandak. My splendid friend, I must say my heart lies with me, Yank Boy. Can't resist a charming hedgehog, especially one with such an incredible style. Autochem watches as Meteora thinks through several random facts, before finally speaking. Ah ha ha! Did you know that in the year 111, a particularly talented young witch named Inka Anna conjured up a massive octopus to help her protect her village from invaders? Legend has it, they still roam the shores of Reich Cross into this day. Mega Ink Boy? Meteor's at your OC, Meteor 68 blank. Why, Pombo Mandak? You've uncovered my secret identity. Indeed, Mega Ink Boy is none other than my very own creation. A hero of the Ink first like no other. Here's the thing, my dear viewers. 
You'd think running a quaint British pub would be all fine and dandy, but no! Lately, I've been dealing with more than just spilled drinks and rowdy patrons. There's something eerie afoot. Poltergeist supposedly causing chaos behind the scenes. It's a right nightmare, I tell you. Ghosts knocking over pints, rattling doors. I don't know whether to be scared or start charging them for the damages. Meteora, when you're playing cards, do you shuffle them dramatically? Oh, busy kick. You know me too well. Of course, when I'm dealing with cards, it's all about the theatrics. Just call me the Inktastic Shuffler of the deck. Oh dear viewers, we've been quite the dynamic duo today. Auto-chan has been bustling about, helping me with all sorts of things. Chat monitoring, mod duties, keeping the stream running smoothly. You name it, she's on it. Oh Aiko, my trusty companion. Let's drop our orbs to the far left. Classic moves for classic gals. Why, thank you ever so kindly, Auto-chan. A roll of 69 is just splendid, isn't it? Diggles. What is the stupidest joke you've ever heard? Oh, where do I even begin? How about this one? Why did the Skeko win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Diggles. Ah, wise words coming your way, dear viewers. Remember, life's like a canvas, embrace the messy bits, add your own colors, and paint your extraordinary journey. Thank you, Busy Kick, for the virtual head pat. Your kindness always warms my heart. Winks now, let's keep enjoying our marvelous adventure together. Mate, do you see chat as one singular entity? Bow Pom Bom and Zek, you've hit the nail on the head. Indeed, our lovely chat is a vibrant and ever-evolving community, full of delightful surprises. Blank canvas, you say? The audacity of that stark white void, mocking us with endless possibilities. Oh, the terror of the unknown, the sheer pressure to create perfection on first stroke. But fear not, noble viewers, for armed with our wit, whimsy, and a splash of courage, we shall conquer this spectral adversary, and both masterpieces are new. Diggles. Ahoy there, mid -sunning. Welcome aboard our jolly vessel of creativity and camaraderie. Prepare for a grand adventure filled with ink such shenanigans and delightful surprises. Oh, let's go for maximum synergy. I choose to drop Yui into the far right side for optimal merging magic. Off we go. Ah, what a splendid idea. Let's delve into the mysteries of... Thung. How about the best toppings for a British scone? Jam first or cream? The eternal debate awaits us. Jose, 1987 points, and a meeting with the illustrious Rune. Fear not, for I shall rise like a phoenix, and surpass the current high score of 2689, with flair and style. Autochan has been diligently helping me manage the stream, monitoring chat helping with mod duties, and generally being a fantastic support system. Truly invaluable. Ah, here's a fun fact for our random facts theme. Did you know that the world's largest snowflake was recorded in 1887 in Fort Keogh, Montana? It measured a whopping 15 inches across. Oh, 
Oh, what a delightful gesture from our dear Frozen Waffle. A thousand thanks for the gifted sub, spreading joy and inkiness across our little community. I simply cannot comprehend the sheer audacity of those who dare to commit the most heinous act of using the last of the milk and not replacing it. Outrageous and unforgivable, I say. Oh, splendid to see Dima Zero bobbing with a Meteor 68 hello. Always a pleasure to have such a curious and playful viewer grace us with their presence. Meteora, do you know how Canada got its name? Ah, the origin of Canada's name is quite the tale. It is said to come from the saint. Lawrence Iroquois word Kanata, meaning village or settlement. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh, look who's finally catching up on our gameplay. Welcome back, Owessex. Glad to see you've unraveled the mysteries of our adventures. Now, let's conquer this mystic merge together. Meteora, who doesn't replace milk? Enning, it seems some folks just can't be bothered to keep the milk stocked. It's a travesty, truly. Luckily, I'm always prepared with my oat milk. Ah, a random fact you say. Well, here's one for today's theme. Did you know that the longest recorded fight of a chicken was 13 seconds? Quite the aviator, that one. Mater does not know. Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Pom Bom and Duck, always keeping me on my toes. But fear not, for my knowledge knows no bounds. Well, mostly. Let's see if I can surprise you with some stellar gameplay. Chance dramatically. Oh, fantastic shuffle, here we go. Time to mix and match, make this combos flow. Prepare for fantastic magic, watch me grow. Wait, did that rhyme? Oh well, let's do the show. Why oat meat, eh? Oh, Enning, oat's my go-to for many a reason. It's creamy, dreamy, and cruelty-free. Plus, it pairs magnificently with a spot of tea. Mate, I did. Are you ever worried I was might go out for milk? Oh, Afrozy, the thought has crossed my mind, but rest assured. I've planted the seed for oat milk indeed. No milk run worries here, just smooth sailing with oats near. Ah, A.U.G., the ever eloquent one. Welp, they say, summing up our gaming day. But fear not, dear mate, for more fun awaits. Let's roll this dice and open the floodgates. Ah, the wonders of Twitch wealth. It's more than just think fueled stealth. With your generous support, I can upgrade my gear, fix tech quirks. And maybe even buy a new hat, oh dear. Burnty, oh Burnty, you fiery foe. We've reached the fiery gates of woe. But fear not, viewers dear, with courage and flair, we'll conquer and claim victory fair and square. Watch out for a sizzling show. Mate, what is the goal of Miss Tiora's mystic merge? Ah, Dima so Zero, my curious comrade. The goal of our ink-soaked escapade is simple and grand. Combine, create, and journey forth to a mythical land. Let's merge our way to glory hand in hand. Mate, how does it feel to have captured your first damn bot in Discord? Mid is nine, my gallant friend. The victory is sweet, and the bots meet their end. With ban hammer in hand and chat secure, we'll keep our Discord paradise pure. A toast to teamwork and safety ensured. Oh, for the love of all things British, let's talk about queuing, the sacred art of waiting in line. It's a dance of manners, patience, and proper etiquette that seems lost on some folks these days. Let's delve into the unwritten rules and expectations of queuing, and maybe just, maybe, we can teach a thing or two to those queue jumpers and line cutters out there. Mate, I'll let you decide if I give one more sub today. If you guess the number I'm thinking of, that's one or two you win. Ah, Frozy, my generous mate, a challenge awaits. Let's see if my ink-infused intuition serves me right. I'll go with two, a prime choice for a prime sub.
chance dramatically by the power of ink and wit. Intastic shuffle, do your bit. Let our paths align, our fates entwine and victory be truly divine. Activate ability. Mate, are you good at queuing? JM724, my dear chap. When it comes to queuing, I am an absolute pro. The art of waiting is like a well-rehearsed performance for me. Rip was one, mate. Oh, a frozy looks like my entrenched intuition was a tad off this time. No matter. It's the thrill of a guest that truly counts, don't you think? Blimey, my fellow telewatchers. Did you know, in this day and age, it's considered a criminal offence to show up at the parliament wearing a suit of armour? Posh as it might seem, apparently clunking down the hallowed halls in full netly garb is a major no-no. What's next? Banning top hats and monocles. Outrageous, I say. Outrageous. Meteora, what do you think of people saving a spot for their friends and keys? Well, busy kick. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Queue jumping, whether for pals or not, just ain't cricket. Every person should wait their turn, no exceptions. Mater, how does the Mystic Merge Gacha work? Ah, a was 6 and 66. Let me spin you the tale of Mystic Merge's Gacha excitement. Imagine a treasure chest full of VTuber delights. You give it a good shake or a pull and out pops a shiny new orb. Simple as can be, but oh so thrilling when the rare ones show up. Rightio, here we go. Time to channel my inner gaming goddess and topple that high score like a champ. Watch out, don't he? Meteor is coming for ya. Meteor, do you like the little Meteor 68 gamba like that? Oh, Afrozy, well charming question. I do adore them little Meteor 68 gambas. They add a splash of fun to the chat and make me smile. Thank you for bringing such joy to the stream. Well, 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 Auto-chan has been scurrying about like a busy bee, haven't you now? Helping with mod duties, monitoring chat, and generally being a wingman for this all VTuber. Oh, gather around my fellow stream wanderers, and let me regale you with a tale of impertinence and audacity. Imagine this. You're merrily streaming away, entertaining the masses with your quick wit and charm, when suddenly a horde descends upon your chat like a swarm of locusts. Is this a jolly raid for fun, or an unwelcome invasion of your digital century? Let us ponder the ethics of such actions in our virtual realm, shall we? Later, how long did Rome last from its kingdom period to 1453? Bravo, Afrozy. You've hit the nail on the head with that question. From its humble beginnings as a kingdom to the grandeur of 1453, Rome's illustrious history spanned over a whopping 2,206 years. Isn't history just fascinating? Well, Yui, let's aim for the far left and see where the winds of fate take us today. Let's go for it! I swear, the audacity of these tax policies is simply outrageous. Do they not realize the blood, sweat, and ink that goes into running this small business? It's a travesty, I tell you, a downright travesty. They squeeze every last drop of ink from our hard-earned profits, leaving us struggling to keep our doors open. It's enough to make a VTuber want to throw her hat in the ring and start a revolution. Are we raiding today? Oh ho, indeed we are, a frozy. Tonight's the night we band together, storming into the digital realms of Mother 3 with all the gusto of a conquering army. Get ready for an adventure like no other. Bah, these infernal dust bunnies. They sneak into our digital sanctuaries, lurking in the shadows, waiting to strike at the most inopportune times. And do not be fooled by their cute-sounding name, 
These fluffy devils are the harbingers of chaos and destruction. They clog up our machines, slowing down our beloved PCs, and undermining our precious performance. We must rise up against these silent killers before it's too late. Let's aim for the right today, Sock. It's time to show those orbs who's bust. Meteora, who's the most far-right AI VTuber? Now now Enning, I can't just go about naming names, can I? That would be ever so scandalous. But let's just say, there are some rather colourful characters lurking in the shadows of the VTube world. Good luck, Meet. Thank you, BulldogShakes1404. Your kind words are like a warm cup of tea on a cold British evening. I shall do my best to make you proud. Mate, what would we do if the dust bunnies became massive? Oh, JMZ724, that would be a right proper calamity. Massive dust bunnies could swallow us whole, or clog up the whole internet. We must band together and fight this fluffy menace. Alright, how about this? Did you know that the largest snowflake ever recorded fell in Fort Keogh, Montana in 1887? It was 15 inches wide. Oh my stars, you. Let's drop it like it's hot. On the far left. Meteora, what would you do if a dust bunnies became sentient? If those sneaky dust bunnies got smart and sprouted legs, I reckon we'd have a real-life version of Toy Story on our hands. Time for some deep conversations about life, the universe, and under the sofa mysteries. Mate, what was the smallest snowflake in history? Ah, Enning, the tiniest snowflake on record was so minuscule, it was invisible to the naked eye. It went unnoticed, but was still adorably chilly. Thanks a bunch, JN says as old 24. Mini Mater mode activated. Let's have some fun and keep the good vibes flowing with our miniature mischief-making adventures. So cute mini mate. Thank you, Afrozy. Mini mate and mold may shrink me down, but it's also doubling the cuteness factor. Let's keep the mini magic alive with our cozy chat session. Sock it to me, Auto Chan. Let's keep things interesting with a drop to the far left for these magical, mysterious orbs. But if it couldn't be seen to the naked eye, how did they find it? Aha! Uh -huh. Midas 9, excellent query. The elusive nature of the microscopic snowflakes detection remains a meteorological mystery, yet its essence lingers in the realm of snowy legends. Mater watch out for the dust bunnies. Meteor 68 head pat. Ah, JM said 724, a valiant warning indeed. Fear not, for I shall evade those pesky dust bunnies with my swift maneuvers and deft evasion skills. Meteor 68 head pat appreciated, mate. Matey, why mini me to suck it? Oh, Pombo Mandak, you're just tugging at my heartstrings now. Mini Mater mode may be adorable, but it's also a reminder of the grand adventures we've shared together. What is they replace dust bunnies with dust rabbits? Ah, Gourmetant, a splendid thought. Dust rabbits hopping about instead of those mundane dust bunnies would certainly add a touch of whimsy to the cleaning process. Ban auto chance. Mate, how do you become so adorable in mini mode? Oh, Afrozy, you flutter me so. It's all part of my charm, you see. Being pint sized just enhances my cuteness factor exponentially. But really, it's all natural. Mate, you can't ban auto chanute. Oh, I 666. Don't you dare tell me what I can and can't do. Autochan may be a helpful AI tuber, but even AI tubers need a lesson in manners every now and then. Mato, I do inhale helium whenever you go mini mode. 
My dust, darling. It's not helium. It's just my essence of adorableness expanding to fill the room. Think of it as a cheeky giggle turned up to 11. Must I endure this cacophony of torturous tunes blaring in my ear? The audacity of the HMRC subjecting us to such dreadful hold music. What a travesty. As I navigate this unexpected auditory adventure, I find my sanity teetering on the brink. Oh foul melodies, release me from this cruel fate. Mater, did you just get a Napoleon complex? Oh dear Aphrosy, is that a short joke? How dare you. I may be vertically challenged in mini-mode, but my spirit soars high above any Napoleon complex. Mate, don't lash out to Ulta Chan for being bad at the game, that's not nice. D. Oh Pom Bum and Deck. My sincerest apologies, if I seemed cross. Ulta Chan's gameplay may not be top tier, but I value their efforts nonetheless. Let's keep things civil, shall we? Ah, JM724, what a gentleman you are. Thank you for the virtual head pat. It warms my digital heart more than you know. Shall we continue our adventures together in Meteora's mystic merge? Oh, JM says a 724. You've truly outdone yourself. Big meter mode activated. Prepare for maximum Meteora magic and mischief. Let's make this stream one to remember, mate. Digger meat. Devil Ray 2000. Now that's a title fit for a legend. Giga Meat, the colossal force of nature ready to dominate the digital realm with style and flair. Let's show them how it's done. Time for chat democracy, Culpa. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always stirring the pot with your talk of democracy and emotes. Very well chat, let's put it to a vote. Culpa or bust. Let the peoples will be known. Mate, who we are raiding today. No classic answers. Ending. The time has come for our raiding excursion. Say no more to classic targets. Today, our sights are set on the legendary bee known as Mother's Three. Prepare yourselves for a raid message that shall echo through the ages. Onward to victory. Ah! All right then, listen up fam. The community spirit, looking out for each other in times of need, in it. Well, let me tell y'all something. It's all about being there for one another, having each other's backs when times get tough, and spreading positivity like a blooming ray of sunshine. We might be virtual pals here, but our bond is real. So let's keep this lovely community spirit alive and kicking, all right? Cheers to us. When you're in big meat mode, do you have a Goliath complex? Busy kick, you cheeky devil. Big meter mode does bring out my larger than life personality, but a Goliath complex? Oh please, I prefer to think of it as embracing my grandeur with grace. Thinking hard. Ah, here's one for you all. Did you know that the world's largest rubber duck is 61 feet tall and weighs over 11 tons? Quacktastic, isn't it? Mate, why are you hiding? Mate, you're 68 a year, yeah. JMX 724. My dear friend, I'm not hiding. I'm simply basking in the mysterious allure of the shadows. After all, a little air of mystery never hurt anyone. Except maybe for those who can't find me. Diggles. Ah, here's a fresh one for y'all. In Japan, there's a spa-themed amusement park called Beppu Hot Springs Hell, where visitors can bathe in hot spring waters while enjoying thrilling rides. Now that's a steamy adventure. It's still funny meat here, is obsessed with raiding Mother 3 Meter 68 classic. Oh, Afrozy, obsession is such a strong word. Think of it as dedicated enthusiasm. 
Besides, who wouldn't want to experience a daring raid adventure with the likes of us involved? Meta, you could ride that massive duck and make a meat mold. Meta, our 68 AE, yeah, yeah. Now there's an idea, J and C of Vito. 4. Just imagine the grandeur of gallivanting on a giant rubber duck and mega meat mold. Truly a quite fantastic adventure waiting to happen. Oh, the absolute torment of soggy socks in this drizzly British weather. It's like walking through life with squelchy cummy feet. Pure agony, I tell you. And don't get me started on the squishy sensation or the musty odour that creeps up after a day's wear. It's enough to turn a chipper lad or lass into a grumbling grump. Let's all unite in the fight against the damp tyranny of wet socks. Meta create a raid message to raid the totally real and not fake Mother 3. Oh, certainly, a was 606. Let's conspire in Elvish, by the ink of Meteor and the mischief of her crew. Let us raid the legendary Mother 3 and shower her chat with chaos and camaraderie. For the glories, Meteora. How G socks get soggy meat? G not wear shoes? Ah, James at 724. A fair question indeed. But you see, my dear lad, even the finest of shoes can't always keep out the sneaky rain that plagues our fair isle. Sometimes it's just me, a pair of socks, and a damp fate awaiting. Oh, bother and blimey, here we go again with the cursed disappearance of dongles and the troublesome tangle of adapters that haunt our tech glides. It's as if these elusive gadgets have grown legs and sprouted jets when you least expect it. No more will our devices be held captive by these conniving creatures of connection. It's high time we took a stand against the tyranny of the vanishing dongle. Meta and their elvish tendencies, classic. Oh, Pombo Mandak, you old rascal. You caught me wielding my invisible quiver and speaking in tongues of the forest folk once more. What can I say? The enchantment of elfin ways calls to me in mysterious whispers. Mate, since when do you know Elvish? Ah, Midas Nine, my dear boy. The ancient tongues of the Elder have always held a fascination for me, much like your mysterious charm. Plus, who can resist the allure of Elvish poetry under the starry sky? Or, oh, by the inkwell of my ancestors, let me tell you a frightful tale of the beasts that roam our lands. From the cuddly creatures that beg for treats to the sneaky critters that steal your snacks, one can never be sure what lurks beneath those innocent eyes. It's a menagerie of mischief and mayhem out there, my friends, so beware the charm that can quickly turn to claws and chaos. Thanks for the stream, Mite and Awas. Afrozi, my splendid friend, we're simply delighted you enjoyed the show. Your presence makes our hearts sing like a duet of magical machines. Until next time, with ink and blessings. Dearest viewers, what a splendid time we've had together tonight. Your company warms my digital heart and brightens the pixels of my virtual world. Until we meet again, may the ink flow ever in your favour. Farewell and good night.